The 82 game preseason is in the books and it's finally time for the real season. Don't miss out on any NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the play-in tournament through the finals, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with same game parlays, live betting, odds boosts, and much more. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use code Shannon. New customers can bet $5 and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. That's the code Shannon, only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Wow. Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. <laughs> it, was a, hey. it was a very exciting start to the day. It was a very exciting ending to the day. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite uncle, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85 route runner extraordinaire. Bingo Rig of Fame honoree from Liberty City. Pro Bowler, All Pro, Chad Ocho, Cinco, Rosado, Hyphenated Dust. No, 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 no. I ain't Rosado nothing. Whoa, right whoa, now. what's really going on? We're yeah, gonna get ain't, into that. Okay. Ain't nothing, man. Listen, just Chad Johnson, Ocho, that's that's it. <laughs> Uh, uh, whoa, Rail, come back, Rail. Rail, what's really going on? What's really going on? He done lost his mind thinking I'm about to get up and cook breakfast four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Man, listen, listen, I know this, this, this I'm I'm gonna tell you something. Unk, it was fine. You know, I wake up early right. in the morning. You know, I, I hate to start the show off like this, but we but we beefing right now. And since we family, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you know the real. I get up at five right. in the morning. I say I'm hungry. She's scrolling through Instagram. I say, I'm hungry. So I let five minutes go by. She say, I'm hungry too. So, okay, boom. So we both hungry. So I'm waiting on you. Wait I'm on like, make the, okay, make the move to the kitchen. I'm waiting on you to like, what we going to do? What you going to do? So I say it two more times. <laughs> so you know what? I ain't get no reply. I say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to get up. I got up and I went to McDonald's. Right. And you didn't get her nothing. You got I you something. I got me some. I ain't get... So I'm like, and so hold on. Uh, I get my McDonald's. I come back in. She's still in the bed. I'm like, man, what's up, man? All nonchalant. Like, it was nothing down there to eat. I was hungry too. Well, what you mean ain't nothing to eat? If it ain't nothing to eat, like, like, come on now. So you know what? I unfollowed her on all on everything. I unfollowed on Twitter. I unfollowed on Instagram. Like I ain't man got man. Boy, you, I, 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 I was hot. I was hot. I I I felt I felt you like you should have just made a little effort, even if it was nothing down there. Yeah, you, you know, go down there and put some bread in the toast to get me some toast. But, but yeah, just just some. I just just some. You know, just you know, do it. So listen, we we beefing right now, and and I'm standing on business about that. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining us. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you, thank you so much. Please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can listen to us through the Club Shay Shay feed, but we would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe and listen through the Nightcap podcast feed. Thank you guys for selling uh, out Shay by Laportier. Pre-orders only. Hopefully uh, we can, uh, uh, in a timely manner, I really want to thank you again. I can't thank you enough for your patience. So thank you very much. Ocho, let's get right into it. Ryan Garcia pulls off a huge upset over the WBC super lightweight champion, Devin Haney. Knocked him down three times when Haney had never touched, yeah, had never touched the canvas and won the victory by a, a, a majority decision. Garcia was ineligible to win the title for missing weight. He was three pounds over the one hundred and forty limit, which is a light hit, which is a lightweight. And Garcia really should have ended the fight in the first round. Ocho, if Garcia took this thing serious. Because you can tell he doesn't take yeah. it serious. He came in overweight. Wait, wait. He drank in at the, at oh. the weigh-in. If right. he were to take it serious, uh-huh. I think he has the tools to be really, mm-hmm. I'm talking about special. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. But he could be special. I think, I think he already is special because there's something about Garcia that you can't teach and that's speed. That's quickness. There's something that he has in his hands that it relates to power because he's so yeah, quick. Yeah, but you don't see the punches. Obviously, catching, yeah, catching, catch, catching Haney a few times and knocking him down. And we know what I think Ryan Garcia did. I think he fooled everybody. I think what he did, all the antics, all the what I identify as, and you know the protesting and the speaking out Trying of what to was sell going the fight. on instead of actually focus, focus, just to not only sell the fight, 
but get people thinking that he wasn't taking the he fight. He won, though, Joe. He came in said, overweight. He couldn't win the title. I, what you mean? You big people think I, he I, wasn't taking it serious. Once you saw him step his ass on the scale, you knew he didn't take scale. it serious. Yeah, but you, you know what else he said about not making weight? Is he was happy to be fighting at his natural weight as opposed to dehydrating and being weaker going into the fight. What was the what let me ask you a question? At light at lightweight, yes, what's the weight? They didn't agree to uh, catch, well, they, they didn't they agree fight. to fight at a catch weight. They agreed to fight right. at the lightweight. The limit is 140. 40, okay, yeah. he came in three pounds overweight. So what 143, yeah. So how are we yeah. supposed to say he took the fight serious? He's drinking beer at the weigh-in, Ocho. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I, I I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying I, I I don't I don't know how to put it on. I don't know how to put it, but what what I what I what I what I, what I witnessed tonight was I think someone that was fooling us with all the antics he was doing. Now coming in overweight, that you can say, you know what, you're not taking this fight serious because you came in three pounds right. overweight and now you don't have a shot at winning the belt or the title. But then when you see him get in the ring and perform the way he performed tonight, that's that's taking it serious. Because I, I'm not trying to be funny, Unc. I'm not trying to be funny. People in the chat might agree with me. Some of them might not. They are familiar with each other because they fought the yes. amateurs. So they know each other very well. Obviously, throughout the years, everyone has has developed skill, have gotten much better at their craft as far as the beautiful as far as the sweet science is concerned. But tonight it felt like I'm not saying Devin Haney was this this unbelievable boxer that's out this world. He was undefeated, he yeah, was good at what but... he did. But when I saw him, when I saw him go down that first time, it didn't look right. It didn't look right. It just, it just, it just didn't feel right. I'm not saying he's Mike Tyson, but when Buster Douglas knocked Mike Tyson down, no, he not that. I mean that Ryan Garcia. I, you, you know, you know, yeah. I'm trying to say, just the feeling. It just, it didn't look right because I've never seen, I've never seen it before. When Antonio Tarver knocked Roy Jones yes. down or knocked yeah, him out, yes. it just didn't look right because we're not used to seeing those individuals in those type of circumstances. Oh, Joe, but you don't. If that you makes look sense, at Devin Haney like an elite level, like like one of these Mayweather of Roy Jones. Yeah, it, I, I don't, I don't see him like that. But he's undefeated, Unc. He's, he's undefeated at Woody. At, at, he's he look look at the people he's fought. Look at the people he's fought. I, I don't. I'm. That's why I was scared to say this. I'm not saying he's Mayweather. I'm not saying he's Mike Tyson or he's Roy Jones. But he's undefeated. Yes. He has a resume and he has you know the accolades and credentials. So I'm disrespecting him for what he's done to this point in yeah, his career. That's you all. Can you that's can all I'm saying. So it just looked weird seeing him go down. You can respect the that's fighter. It for his resume and still said, yes, there's sir. questions. I still have questions. You had no questions about yeah. Roy Jones. You had no questions about right. Mike Tyson. You had no questions right. about Shane Mosley before he lost to Vernon Forrest. You had no, no mm. questions about these guys that had unblemished records. Right. So when I look at Devin Haney, I got, I see a guy with a suspect right. chin. He doesn't have it. He doesn't mm. have power. So now, because you see Garcia, that fight should have been over. If that's anybody else, that fight's over in the first round. Right. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, you got to be careful. I, I think Garcia didn't want to punch himself out. You don't want to punch well, yourself he already out in the did first punch round. Himself, you know why? Because he's not in condition. How you punch yourself? Bro, you're 143. That's what heavyweights do. <laughs> they measure their punches. A lot. Of, look at Pacquiao. Right. If that had been Pacquiao, he'd have been out of there. If that had been Mayweather, he'd oh, have yeah. been out of there. Well, you know, but... You know, this year also you have to understand Manny Pacquiao is a volume puncher. Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia aren't volume punchers. They're not used to throwing that many punches around. So you do have to gauge yourself a little bit based on how you on what your true fighting style yes. is. If that if, if that makes yes, sense. What? Remember Paul yeah, Williams? Remember Paul Williams? Yeah, he, uh, 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 Man, got paralyzed Paul in the motorcycle now, crash. Yeah. Paul Williams is a volume puncher. Paul Williams throwing a hundred some punches around. Yeah, tall, six Man, it's four, only yeah. a few. It's only a few. It's only a few fighters that could do that. But in order for you to do that, what must you do? Your conditioning must be. You got. You got to condition. Yeah, you got to condition yourself. To right do it, yeah. now, as yep. you go up in weight, guys don't really throw punches mm -hmm. like that because it takes a lot more oxygen to be able to put those. Yeah. That's why heavyweights throw 20 punches around mm -hmm. and stuff and most wow. of their punches yes, are measured but the lower guys mm -hmm. because you know they they throw 115 they throw you know they're throwing <laughs> 70 80 100 punches in a round right because right. their condition and it, it, it doesn't take as much much oxygen mm -hmm. to fuel their body right but if ryan garcia 
you had a chance to win the belt. You could have left yeah. with the belt. Oh, coming in, coming in with the yes. right weight, and you had to give up a, yeah. a one point five million because you had to pay five hundred thousand for every pound you were overweight. So that cuts into your Ooh. purse. Yeah. All I'm saying is that if you're going to take the craft serious, take it serious. You want to say you want to yes, be a sir. champion. You want to be thought of as these great Mexican fighters. De La Hoya, De La right. Hoya is, is the golden boy for a reason. He won gold right. in Barcelona in the 92 mm -hmm. Olympics. He's from East Los yes, Angeles. Sir. When you think of Mexican mm -hmm. fighters, you think of tough, you think of condition. Mm -hmm. That's not yeah. Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is not conditioned. You, yeah. you got to take this craft serious. Or yeah. if you can't make weight at 140, take your ass up to 147. But they got the real thumpers nah, up wanna, there. You, 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 you they got the real thumpers up there. Nah. You have to nah, you yeah, you exactly. Do that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean 147, I mean, it would be very dangerous, very, very dangerous for, for Ryan. But obviously at, at 140, would he display the night man with that jab, with that left hook, that, that, that that's magical Ocho. That, but, What's oh, your favorite man. route, Ocho? If I know Ocho's favorite route is a shake yes, sir. or a stutter go, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm going to guard against that. You know his punch is what? Yeah. And you get caught with yeah. it every that time. Damn, every Ocho. Time. You, can't, you can't see it. Unk, you can't teach speed. Ocho. That's like, that's like. wait, hold on. You know what? That's like Tyreek Hill is playing, yeah. right? And you know he about to go deep as a DB. You already know he going deep. And every time they hike the ball, what to do? Hit Tyreek yeah. deep, and you knew it was coming. Some things you just can't stop. Randy Moss, yeah. he line up. The DB 10 yards off. The DB coach tell the DB, you know what? Go ahead and go back a little bit. You know he going deep. Randy come off the ball, slow as hell. He throw his hand up at five yards. You still got a five-yard cushion. Yeah. They let the ball go. Randy still, Randy still score. Even if you know what's coming, he's still catching you with it. That means that left hand and that left hook is magical. It's special. And there's something in boxing. There's something in every sport you can't teach. You can't teach speed and you can't, you can't teach quickness. You can't. That's, that's God. -given. Okay. I might. Okay. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Ocho, it's 30 seconds in the clock. We up by six in Randy Moss. Uh -huh. Are you getting beat deep? No, nothing cheap. Nothing deep. <laughs> we understand early. Right. But you know that mm -hmm. in boxing, it's a little different than getting beat deep because you know he's a one. He's done Deontay Wilder. Why can't Deontay Wilder yeah. win fights anymore? Because everybody knows he's trying to load up for that one punch, the right hand. Once they neutralize yeah. the right hand, he's fighting one hand behind his back because he's really not doing anything else. He's not shooting right. the jab to sit up to the right hand. He's just looking. He's just mm -hmm. circling. Look at the right like One big punch. He's not Lennox mm -hmm. Lewis, who said. He's not Vladimir Klitschko. He's not one of these mm -hmm. Ernie Shavers guys. Larry Holmes, who used the jab. Right. Boom, boom. They, he ain't, that ain't no range finder. They're using it to mm -hmm. boom, to do this. To set up, yes. to set up something So else. that's yes, all sir. I'm saying. Yes, Listen, give Ryan, give Ryan Garcia credit. Mm -hmm. But, bro, you overweight. You overweight. You overweight. Now, I understand when he fought Tank. Tank had it in his contract. Bring your ass in the weight, that re, and you that, not yeah, and that, you that not gonna rehydrate clause. up to one fifty. Uh uh. Mm mm. Oh no. But Ryan won the fight. But what are we supposed to do? Are mm -hmm. we supposed to say, "Oh, Ryan won the fight"? Yeah, he won the fight. He came in overweight. Con I still don't believe he took it serious because his conditioning. A guy that size shouldn't have to fight in spurts. How old is Ryan Garcia? Right in his early twenties. They 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 both twenty five. They you both twenty five. First, at that way, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I I think I think more so being cautious, being cautious, understanding what happened they last time no when he fought. When he, listen, like that. listen, listen, listen. To, look what happened when he fought Tank. Going in there, rushing in there, being aggressive, and he was susceptible to the counter, and he got countered and couldn't get back up. So I think he approached this fight a little different. I'm going to take it a little cautious. I'm going to pick and, pick and choose when to take my shots. Like Durant, when Durant beat Sugar Ray, we was in shock. Yeah. We yeah. were in shock. Yeah. I remember that fight. We were in mm -hmm. shock. When guys right. like when we look at when we look at fighters like a Tyson, like like all like some of the guys that have lost, obviously Mayweather never lost. Right. But when we look at Roy mm -hmm. Jones, when when uh uh yeah. um Antonio Tarver Tarver. caught him. And we look Boy, at when yeah. Vernon Forrest not beat, not beat Shane once, beat him twice. We like, God, twice. dang. Yeah. I'm, in, I'm yeah. not surprised. 
I mean, are you surprised that Ryan Garcia won? Wait, wait, you? Yes, yeah, I, yeah. I was surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought, I really thought Haney was gonna win the fight. I really, I really thought. I'm not, I'm not gonna say a lot to you. I thought, forget, forget the weight. I wasn't even worried about Ryan missing weight. I was thinking about all the antics he was pulling yeah. leading up to the fight. Like, are you? Yeah, I thought he was just trying to sell all the All the stuff on yeah. camera, and I, I identify as a woman, and all, all <laughs> I this. He, what? I thought he was just. I thought he was just trying to sell the fight. I thought. I thought it was going to be a close fight. And then let me tell you what swung swung me to Haney is that when he showed up overweight, uh -huh. I was like, man, he ain't taking it serious. That's okay, so that's okay, what okay. swung me toward really yeah. like I was like, man, this thing can go 50-50. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh yeah. now nah, it wasn't like when, when he fought tank. I'm like, hey, if I got if I'm betting yeah. on this fight, I'm putting all my money on tank. Tank, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But in, in, okay. in Devin Haney, I'm looking at like, uh I, I just I just saw Haney as to me as a better pure boxer uh, obviously you know he's sharp even though a lot of people say he doesn't have power he's sharp right. he counters very well his ring iq is is, is solid it's it's nice and you know I, i'm not gonna call him a, a one-trick pony but ryan garcia just has he got, he got great he got speed. great hand speed and 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 that got then that goddamn hook is yeah, hell it is. Right? That goddamn hook is here, and he set it up so he 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 caught he caught him with the what jab is, and blinded him and came right back with it, and he didn't even see but it if coming. You look at the first time, what did he do? If you remember the fight with Masvidal and Usman, Usman knocked his hand, had his hand, Usman boom, yeah. Ryan Garcia yeah. did the same thing, tap over the top mm -hmm. of it. What he should have yeah. done, because you remember like Ryan Garcia started turning his back and ducking. Now you got to yeah, that, now hey, you got to hey, step hey, around. That, Stop hitting me this back. Right. Step around and come with your hook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that, that was weird. He, he he Ryan Garcia trying to do the Philly shell. Nah. It ain't look no, right. No, 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 no. You that, got, no, it no, don't no, look no, right. No. It's, it's nah, yeah. He's not doing ain't it. Ain't a right whole way. lot of fighters can do that. Sweet P Biddle was the first guy I ever saw do it. Yeah, he was nice with it. He was nice with it. Listen, Sweet P Whitaker look did the Philly shell to perfection. Obviously, Mayweather does the Philly shell to perfection. And Jerron Ennis, when he wants to go in the shell and fight and, and fight off of that defensively or offensively, though, I mean, three. I mean, others can do it. I mean, accepts you well and understanding you're doing it for a specific right. reason. Ryan was just doing it just to do it and really, right. not, no, no, really no. not throwing back. The difference between the guys that you mentioned, they didn't have the mm -hmm. offensive arsenal that Floyd has. Floyd can be a defensive mm -hmm. fighter and then and at the mm -hmm. same time, pull, bam. Everything bam, you throw, he can counter, he can counter over the top. His reflexes, yeah. his eyes, he, mm -hmm. the, his ability to see punches mm -hmm. is second to none. Or oh, anti an anticipate, oh, anticipate oh, what's coming. Oh, you throw time. the hook? Well, you're going to miss me with your hook, and I'm going to catch you with mine. I'm oh, you're going to throw, yeah. throw the right? I'm going hey, to pull, and I'm going to boom. I'm going to catch you with mine. Yeah. His ability to see the punches are unbelievable. But Ryan mm -hmm. Garcia pulls off the huge upset. He Had he made weight, he'd have been the new WBC super lightweight champion. He beat Devin Haney. I want to hear the scorecards so, because you know normally they read you the scorecards on the majority of the decisions. I mean, speak, that means somebody speak, speak somebody it. had it for for Devin Haney. So I want that's impossible. That's that's how you impossible. Get a majority, how I mean, you you, get, you 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 have to you have to be a blind man to say anything was for Devin Haney after getting knocked down three on, times. It's only three judges for you to have a a, a majority decision and not a unanimous decision. That means somebody. Or it was a draw. Don't you still want to know the well, Don't let, you want to know the score? Yeah, you, you know what's funny. If looking at the ref, I was I was a little I was a little perplexed looking at the ref. It looked like the ref was trying to help Haney out a little bit. Now I I might be wrong. I might be tripping. <laughs> but he there were three yeah. knockdowns. To me, it might have been four yeah. or five. I don't know what the His ref leg, was doing. I mean, hey, hey, I don't know what he was hey, looking at. Look, when he clipped Haney, first of all, it takes a special type of person to get clipped. And still come mm -hmm. forward, and he came forward because he yeah. caught him good. You see his eyes; his eyes yeah. went back in the head. I like, woo, got yeah, wide, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, and it take a minute to get it take a minute to yeah. get yourself together too. So you got to you got to clinch. You got to hold here's on. The thing to Ocho, he felt that power. Mm -hmm. He never felt power like that before. Yeah. So now all of a sudden, I got to tread very cautiously. Now it's preventing mm -hmm. me from throwing my punches because he might punches. catch me slipping. In yeah. Between, yeah, but see, the problem that he had is that he kept slipping and dodging the same thing. And at some point in time, yeah. 
They're going to time you up. They're going to catch you. Yeah. You remember uh, uh, Marco yeah. Antonio Barrera? No, that was who did he fought. No, uh -huh. Juan Marquez when he fought Pacquiao. Pacquiao pa and Pacquiao. Pacquiao kept if you notice, every time Pacquiao, he likes to do da 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 timing these I mean, look here and so like to a natural person unless you like mm -hmm. you be around fighters and you be around mm -hmm. trainers and they talk you through mm -hmm. what he's doing and what why he's doing it you have right. a better appreciation because most yeah. people just watch it like mm -hmm. oh he got hit now you oh no you can't no. see it then listen the little small no. nuances that the, the average person can't see that high high ring iq mm -hmm. fighters can mm -hmm. see dude that is nothing but a chess match. I'm, I'm they sure. Pull their back. Fans, By the time you oh, see just, it, Ocho, just, they, just, came back. they just in there throwing. <laughs> nah. Boy, it, listen, it's it, it's different. It's a different ball game in there. It ain't people think, oh, they just in there throwing mm -mm. punches. Everything is Everything. calculated. Everything. Everything is calculated. Now, sometimes they gather, they're gathering information. They want to see what you want to oh, do. Yeah. Floyd make with yeah. me. Them first four rounds. Them first three or four rounds, they gather information. Uh, Floyd says he doesn't watch his opponent. He trusts his trainers. To watch them, watch mm -hmm. the fighters, and give him info, mm -hmm. give him feedback. He said he right. don't watch the fight. Right. So mm -hmm. now, but give Ryan Garcia credit. But I wish he took it serious. I wish he make. I wish he take it serious. Get the belts, because look, you need belts. Because I mean, what what are you fighting mm -hmm. for? You want a legacy. You can't have no legacy without right. no belts, Ocho. I don't give a damn. Belts. Oh, he don't want no belts. Bull jive. Why are you getting this? Why are yeah. you? If you do this. If you're a boxer, if you're an MMA, mm -hmm. it's all about the titles. Yes, you want to win, but the titles give you more money. Mm. That's what that's you gotta you get more money when you have a title or when you have titles. Yeah. You yeah. think Floyd Mayweather would be thought of if he, Floyd didn't have no belts? We would look at Floyd the same way. We would look at Sugar Ray. We would look at Duran. We would look at Roy Jones. We look at any of the great if they ain't got no belts. Know how that sound, Ocho? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Come on, man. You're right. The, I mean, the 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 belts obviously what commands yes! the money. Is what commands the money. And now you got to fight on that. They got to fight they, on my terms. Mayweather said, "No, nah, I ain't going nowhere. If you want to fight me, you come into Vegas. I ain't getting on no plane. Think about it. One, if I'm not mistaken, I think once he fought uh, Arturo Gotti in Atlantic City, I don't think I don't think right. he left. I don't think he left Vegas. Vegas after, after that. that. After that, yeah. Roy Jones, mm -hmm. I remember Roy Jones. I was talking to Roy, and Roy had like six or seven belts. And I think somebody, <laughs> I, was it Cal Zaggy, had one belt. Somebody had like one belt. But he wanted him to take his six or seven belts and come overseas to fight him for the one belt. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Roy said, hell no. So y'all get me over there and pin whip me? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely not. So, I mean, obviously, obviously they have a rematch coming, right? Do you really want to see a rematch, Ocho? I mean, sometimes Ocho, I mean, sometimes he gotta Ocho, give a what well, gotta give him a Ocho, rematch. Sometimes somebody whip you. Oh, oh what what right? I know what Ryan, I know what Ryan Garcia gonna do. He gonna say, No, I don't want to fight Devin Haney. I want I want a rematch with Tank. Tank is at 135. Oh, that's right. He don't want to go down to 135, but I don't believe he can beat Tank at 140. Nah, no. Well then, who who's next for who next for uh, Garcia to fight? Who, then? Uh, who's in that division? Shakur. Shakur? Listen, Shakur. I I I don't boy I don't boy I don't, boy, I, I don't think I, he don't want none of that. Now that's a different ball Look, game. Ryan is, Ryan is a big lightweight now. Yeah, I, he does not want to fight Shakur. That's a different but, ball game. Because here's the Ocho. Here's the thing, and we we talked. Remember we talked about this the other night with Mayweather. Right. Mayweather really mm -hmm. never had to lose but like five pounds. His natural walking yeah. around weight was probably he walk around like at one one forty seven. Yeah, he like one fifty two walk around, <laughs> so he go down to one fifty right. one forty seven. He's straight. Mm -hmm. He fighting at one fifty four. Yeah, he he's at one fifty two. So he's having to right. eat a, a lot of calories just to get to the fifty four. What middle uh, junior middleweight? Mm -hmm. So, but when you want these big guys and you got to come all the way down. You Way walking down. around yeah. at one sixty five and got to come down to one to one forty. 
yeah, you're going to be drained. And if they put a clause in there that won't let you uh, uh, over-refuel, yeah, you're going to be depleted. Right, right. Damn, man. Oh, that was good tonight, man. It, just, it, it was just weird seeing Haney go down, man. It, it was weird seeing, seeing him go down. And I hate the comparison. I know people are going to make fun of me saying, why are you comparing them to Mike Tyson? Why are you comparing them to Roy? I'm just saying the moment, the moment of just seeing him go down after never seeing him to go down like that and actually get hit right. like that. I've never seen him take that kind of punishment. It just looked weird. Yeah. I, 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 hold on. 112. Okay. 112. One judge had it a draw. 112. 112. Yeah, because huh? that's how you get a, that's the only way you can get a majority decision or else it would have been UD. It would have been a unanimous decision. So because it unanimous was decision. a unanimous, I knew somebody either had a draw or had the, uh, Haney winning. That's the only way you get a majority decision. You see, you see, you see how them just see how them judges be yeah. see how the judges be. Now I see why the ref is doing what he was doing. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you out as much as oh, possible. Yeah. There was only so much he could yeah. do, though. Uh, one judge had to, had uh, had to uh, fight. 112, 112. But Ryan Garcia beats Devin Haney. He does not get the belt because he didn't make weight. He ends up having to give uh, De Devin Haney $1.5 million because he bet that if, for every, every pound he was overweight, he'd give him $500,000. I don't know if that was just yeah. gamesmanship or what. But since De I think that was game. Nah, hell no. Nah, you don't whip my ass. Pay me my money. He ain't giving up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Speaking of paying money. Right. Um, you owe me five hundred dollars, man. What happened? Ain't no what. What happened? Hey, listen, money out of sight can cause a fight. <laughs> now you you made a bet. Chat, please remind him go about get, his bet. You said the you said the yeah. Bulls was gonna beat. Go the get heat. my go get your money from Zach Wilson. What? Yeah, what the what your what I mean, Zach Wilson. What happened? <laughs> you, <laughs> I don't I don't understand oh, what you mean. Oh, now all of a sudden you don't speak English, huh? You don't. I, I don't. You don't know speak what, English. Not, you don't speak Ebonics. You don't speak slang. You don't speak, speak hood. You don't understand. You don't comprehend anything. Wait a minute. What does Zach Wilson have to do with the bet that we just made last weekend? And you said the Bulls going to beat the Heat. The money that we bet Zach Wilson not turning the ball over. Zach Wilson doing this. How much we? How much we bet on that one? I don't know. Chad to pull it up. We go get it back. We get it back. Oh, now you now you reneging no, on I your bets. No, okay, man, okay. Back. I get it back. You even though even though you didn't pay me my money from for the, the Jets losing me, it, I I don't remember how much it was. Was it was a hundred dollars? Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm, I, we, we'll I, I'm we'll pull it. We'll find it. I know. Hey, chat, find it. I know y'all can find it. I know y'all some expect the clue souls in here. I know y'all can find you, it. You sure? You sure? You sure? I bet on Zach Wilson. That that's my that's my guy. I don't I don't recall yeah. making any bets during yeah. football season. Yeah. Oh, oh, and that Kadarius Tony. You remember Kadarius Tony wasn't gonna have no more drops? Oh, I bet he won't throw. Not only did he have a drop this next game, and he had another drop that led to a pick. No, we oh, didn't, yes, we didn't we bet, bet on it. I just oh, said. absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Could Kadarius Tony from Florida? You see, that's how I get you. I know you're gonna bet all things, Florida. <laughs> you can't help it. You know, I got to go with the nah, home team. I Nah, I don't. I don't recall yeah. betting. I'm, I'm Chad, y'all better tell him. Huh? It was two hundred for Tony. How much for Zach Wilson? I think it was another two hundred. There you go, four hundred. So I owe you a hundred dollars. Four? Oh, say what? I, well, I need that hundred. I tell you what, I'm gonna do. Hey, how about this, Ocho? Can you put huh. that hundred on a running account? If I don't run up and pay you, don't you run your ass up and ask me for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. All right, Uncle Joe, hey, that, check this out. That's the Nuggets beat the Lakers 114 to 103. The Lakers uh three-point shooting tonight. LeBron James was three of five, 60 percent. The rest of the team was five of 24, 20 percent. Uh whoo, Nikola Jokic was Nikola Jokic, and he's gonna show you why he he showed you why he's gonna be the MVP. Yeah. 32 points, 12 yeah. rebounds, seven assists, zero turnovers on 15 of 23 shooting, and it's the Nuggets' fifth straight win. Over the Lakers, playoff mm. win over the Lakers. Jokic and Murray combined yeah. for 17 assists and no turnovers. Jamal Murray has the highest increase in points per game all time in the regular season, the postseason, a plus seven and a half. Yo, uh, Jamal Murray, he at his career average is 17.5, and 
in the postseason is 25. Nikola Jokic normally averages 20.9, but he averages 27.5 in the regular season. Ocho, I'm watching this game. Mm-hmm. And the, and the yes, game sir. goes to the half, and, and you can go check my tweet. I knew the Lakers mm-hmm. were in trouble because Anthony Davis and LeBron James is having the game of their lives. They're 14 or 21 yeah. at the half, combined shooting. Mm-hmm. Um, LeBron is 3 or 3 from the three-point line, and they're up three points. Yeah. So your big oh, yeah. guns, it, it your big be- guns are going off. Mm-hmm. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 boom. And you're up three. You, yeah. They can't play. I mean, you- they can't play any better. And I, uh, uh, mm-hmm. Gil and I was on. We got to make it a three on three. You got to make it a D-Lo, uh, uh, a Rui, and an Austin Reeves versus Aaron Gordon, uh, Michael mm-hmm. Porter Jr., and KCP. Right. If you go look at the yeah. box score tonight, they're three outplayed out three three yeah and that's that's the only way because lebron mm-hmm. james and ad gotta cancel my ad had i think ad had what 34 15 and like six or seven assists hold on let me pull let me pull up yeah. uh right here oh man because ad ad held his own i was very very excited watching ad play he played extremely well yeah. i don't like look mm-hmm. I understand the Lakers like, hey, we don't want AD. We need AD for, but at some point in time, you can't give Yoke the exact same look all the time and have Rui on him. AD had right. thir- AD was 32, 14, and five with four blocks. Uh LeBron was 27, 8 with one block, one steal, and six rebounds. So 27 points, right. eight assists. Six rebounds. He was really, really careless with the basketball. He had seven of mm-hmm. their 12 turnovers. So, yeah. Uh, Yoke had 32 points, 12 rebounds, seven assists. And Jamal Murray had 22 points, 10 assists, and six rebounds. So, the big two for both teams, they canceled each other out. Let's just say they canceled each yeah. other out. But Austin Reeves had 13. D Lo had 13, but he was one for nine. He had 20. Mm-hmm. Especially from, from three, yeah, from three. It was, it was he was he was shooting bad from three. He was he had bad. thirteen points on twenty shots. Rui, Rui, yeah. Rui didn't play bad. Rui just didn't get enough shots. Mm-hmm. Rui got to shoot the ball more. Yeah. He had four shots, four shot attempts. You know, and you got KCP you think- had twelve points. You got uh, Aaron Gordon had twelve points with eleven rebounds, and you had Michael Porter Jr. had nineteen points. That's the difference in your ballgame. You know, I think. I think D'Angelo, D'Angelo probably won't have another game like that. I think as a shooter, you know, you keep on shooting, but obviously you have to know when when to stop. You know, if you one for nine, if you one for nine from three and, and it's not falling, then obviously you need to change to the mid range game and start trying to drive to the basket and create fouls and maybe get to the line a little bit and get your points get your points that way and try to find yourself in yes. a rhythm as far as shooting the ball is concerned. Yes. And and when I, when I think about it, Austin Reeves has to has to play better. I mean, as well. And you said Rui. Rui, does Rui have the green light to be able to take the amount of shots you think he should? That That's the whole thing. Certain people are reluctant to just go out there and just shoot just to be shooting, more so shooting when they're actually open. Does he have the green light to do he that? He has the ability to shoot more than four times in a game. I, 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 yeah. I, more I, than yeah. that. Okay. I, I'm yeah, not I saying. Know you, but yeah. you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Probably though, right? 20 There's shots. Probably that have the no. green light to shoot at will. Probably 20 shots. Probably no. But a lot of his shots, a okay. lot of his shots are coming. Their uh, guys are feeding him. I mean, uh, you know, he okay. gets the mismatch. Yeah, he can post up a, a Jamal Murray. Okay. He gets a KCP or he gets a smaller guy. Yeah, he can post. But more times than not, it's off a of feed, uh, something like that. Mm-hmm. Reeves find him, D'Lo finds him, or LeBron finds him. Um, you know, it's a good. You know, it's a good. A good what? question. I I don't know if it really plays a factor. Obviously, when you play in Denver, when it comes to football, outside altitude but even with you with you being indoors you think alt- altitude played any type of any type of factor no nah, well, but you're but you, but you you're indoors I'm no not no sure no it's still, i mean you're still I mean, 5280 feet above sea level so it is still a mile high i think just think the thing is yeah obviously the uh the pressure the 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 it's the playoffs so there's right. a different types of anxiety to it and you know when you pumped mm-hmm. up you know your heart beats a little faster you get tired uh, more more rapidly quicker right uh so it's uh i just don't know i mean i, I this is this is the fifth time i watched them in the playoffs 
I'm just not right. so sure because I think there's a greater chance D'Lo has another game like he had tonight as opposed to Murray having another game like he had. Murray was 9 of 24. What's the likelihood of him going 9 of 24 again? Probably mm -hmm. not. Yoke's going to be Yoke. Probably Yoke's going to do what he does. But see, my problem is with, with Ham is that he's giving him a steady diet of the same thing. Okay, Rui, you got him for about five or six plays. Okay, uh, 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 AD, you got him five or six trip down a uh, court. Mm -hmm. LeBron, right. if you give any great player a steady diet of anything, it's like a human getting a steady diet of antibiotics. It's going to build up a resistance right. to it, and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. it's going to be no good. And you see what happens. Right. He started getting into his rhythm, and now, now mm -hmm. you got your hands full. Now you at his mercy because right. he's stronger than you think. He doesn't have muscle tone. Mm -hmm. He's not carved like a a, a, a Carl Malone mm -hmm. or Dwight Howard mm -hmm. or Ben Wallace. But right. look, when he puts that shoulder in people's chest, how he dislodges them from that spot. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter right. if it's Roy, if it's AD, if it's LeBron. And LeBron ain't no small man, and he's not a weak man. Mm -hmm. But he moves right. him like it's nothing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're reluctant because he's such a great passer. He's seven foot tall. And he's going to be able to beam the ball cross court to find Michael Porter Jr. or KCP or one of those shooters spotting right. up. But you got to roll your dot. You got to roll. So who do you trust? KCP. I think KCP made all his all his threes in the third because he he was he was he wasn't very good in the, in the first half and then the second they broke broke the game open. But if you watch this game closely, if you notice something about the Nuggets. When they go on their runs, they don't let you off the hook by turning the ball over like the Lakers did. See, the Lakers got on a run, and all of a sudden they start turning the ball over. And so what was a 10 or 11, 12-point right. lead that possibly could have got to 16, 17, maybe even 18, now they turn the ball over like three times in a row, and a 12-point lead all of a sudden is down to five. Right. Remember what we talked about in the Super Bowl, Ocho. When you get the momentum, how much separation can you put? Can you because, get, like yeah. you said, you know NBA teams, they're going to go on a run too. Mm -hmm. So you just want it to be, because think about it, they were down, they went from down one to up 14. That's what the Nuggets did to the Lakers, just like that. Like that, just like that, yeah. But I don't know, I, I, I just don't know. I've seen I've seen AD, the first game last year, have a monster game, and they lost. Mm -hmm. LeBron, the last game when yeah. they got swept, he had 40, and they lost. LeBron and AD lost. played yeah. well together. And they lost. Yeah. I just don't know. Because in clutch. The supporting, the, the supporting class has to play better. D'Lo has to play better. Austin Reed yep. has to play better. And Rui and some of the other supporting cast and players coming off the bench, you got you you got you got somebody got to give them the, the, the confidence or the green light. It's okay to shoot the ball. It's okay. Yeah. You gotta pull it. You gotta pull it. Cause listen, it's it was a seven game yes. series, right? You're already down yeah. one. They have thirty at home. Just I mean, let the, it go. The, the series doesn't start until somebody wins on the opposing team's court. But the problem right. is, is that Austin Reeves is a good. He's a good offensive player, but he his foot he's a liability on defense because you know they're going to put you nah. in the pick and roll, and you got to fight hard. Right. And you know it's it's just Murray. I mean Murray ain't no easy task. But nah. when you in the Western Conference, ain't none of the guards in the West easy task. Cause you got Shea and you got Steph and you got a uh, uh, mm. D Fox and you got Luca mm. and you got Kyrie. So you ain't got no Ooh, easy boys. wins and you dealing with Harden. Yeah. Although Harden is not what he once was. He's still crafty. He's mm -hmm. still shifty. He still can get it done. Mm -hmm. So there right. are no, e there's no like, man, I got a night off. No, you don't. No, you don't. Right. And so that's crazy. It's, it's going to, it's going to be a, Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one, though. It's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one. Yeah. The Knicks beat the Sixers one eleven to one hundred four. Joel Embiid threw it off the glass. He sl slammed it down, and he uh, had a little scare. Uh, the left knee caused an uh, Joel. He missed twenty nine games with that knee. The Sixers outscored the Knicks by fourteen when Embiid was on the court, but they were outscored by twenty one when he wasn't. Uh, this was another game, but it came down to Josh Hart. All the big shots yeah. down the stretch, Josh Hart made them. He made every mm -hmm. three. He got every timely rebound. Um, you know, <laughs> I was on there and they asked me, I said, man, most of the time, a lot of games, um, 
Jalen Brunson, he's not an efficient player. Oh, look at this. Right. Hey, Chad, what did Jalen Brunson shoot from the floor? Eight of 26. He had 22 points on 26 shots. Mm hmm. Yeah, but you, you have to think. This is some you don't. This is not the Jalen Brunson you gonna get every I'm night. Say, uh, he's, he's, he's under fifty percent. He's, he's, he's very. He's, he's under fifty percent shooting. Yeah. Tonight he's under fifty percent. For the season, he's under fifty percent. He gonna give you a point. Yeah. And if Ocho, you know, you know the Knicks, you know the Knicks are in the playoffs because of Jalen Brunson. I'm not saying that he play. is, but two things can even, be true. Even, the, even though he's under fifty percent. Ocho. What you, you say? Two things two can things. be true. So let me get this right. That's like me saying, man, Ocho, man, Ocho, Ocho had 170 yards. He had 20 catches. He should have had 170 yards. Okay. I, I listen, but but I can't even talk. I can't even say anything <laughs> negative about Jalen. Oh, Brunson, he was all unbelievable. The, all yeah. the Knicks, they did a great job. But they are they 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 are in the playoffs because of yes. him. He takes a lot of shots. He scores he has a lot to, of points. Though. He makes a lot of he makes a lot of plays. He facilitates the ball very well. And I guarantee you, he won't have another game like he had. I'm not today. gonna say he's not because they have length that can bother him. Tobias Harris, six eight. Uh, Kelly yeah. Oubre, six 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 seven. Uh, Kyle yeah. Lowry is tenacious, although he probably have better against Kyle because Kyle's a little small. So small on small, you like Jalen Brunson in that situation. And then you send him to your help and you got uh, Joel Embiid back there to really make things even more difficult for him. But Jalen Brunson is going to be an all-NBA player, probably the second yeah. team. I don't think he's, he's mm -hmm. not going to nudge out Shea or, or Luka for, for first, first team, but I think he's going to be the second yeah, team, no. and rightfully so. I think he averaged, what, 28 points this season? Um had one of the last, the best, one third best ten game stretch since 1980. Had almost 380 <laughs> points. Uh, only Kobe and Jordan scored more over the last ten games of a regular season. So, Jalen Brunson is going to be Jalen Brunson. You just try to neutralize right. him. But here's the thing, though, Ocho, is that you got him to shoot eight for 26. That's the game you got to steal, because like you mm -hmm. said, he's probably not going to shoot like that again. Mm -mm. And you and you come away with a win with him playing that way. I'm sure, I'm sure, based on who he is, based on how he's played all, all mm -hmm. season long, even though you're saying he's shooting under 50%, he's going to come back. And if you went nine if you went nine for 26, I'm sure he's going to clean up. He's going to be shooting a higher percentage in the next yeah, game. Yeah, you just got to make him work. If he, if guy, if yeah. you're making shots over, if you're making contested shots, I'll stretch, um, they run. Now yeah. you can do, yeah, you, now you can do oh, about dad, that. Ocho. Man, hey, you right. can't, man, you see Ocho with that one, bro. I I can't play no better defense. The man one hand caught it, bro. Come on now, the dude high point the ball in the middle of the field with three guys on him, bro. What you want me to do? I can't play no yeah, better yeah, defense than me, that. that but where they lost the game, where the Sixers lost the game, they were out rebounded by twenty two. You can't get yeah. out rebounded like you can't got because re you know Josh Hart's gonna crash the board. He's mm -hmm. one of those guys. He's gonna he's a hustle player. He's gonna crash the board and he can make timely shots. Which he did, yeah. But his biggest asset is his hustle, his yeah. ability to track down loose ball, and he gave the Knicks a couple of extra possessions that they ended up scoring. But mm -hmm. who'd have thought that the Knicks would out rebound them by twenty two? Now you know Joel Embiid is not going to be able to. He's not going to be able to. He's not as mobile as he was. He's got that bulky yeah. knee brace. So Tobias, mm -hmm. Tobias did good. He had nine. Nine uh, uh rebounds. Uh what 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 Maxi finished with? Maxi 33. Yeah, Maxi Maxi gonna have to carry the carry the bulk of the load. He's gonna have to put the sixes on his shoulders. But the, I mean the, the best way he the, can. Because Embiid Embiid can only do so much with a bad knee. Limited. Especially at that height, especially at yeah. that size. What we're used to seeing from him, he's really not going to be able to be as effective as he wants to, even though it's playoff time. If anything, I listen, I don't think I'm allowed to say it on here, but there's something that we used to take when we were injured a little bit that allowed us to play an effective game where we couldn't feel nothing. Oh, now, I'm not sure if they had the T word. You know, you know yeah, oh, yeah I'm, they oh, got it. Oh, oh, I can yeah. say that. Do they have that? Yeah, they got it everywhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, 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 listen, man, pop, pop one of them and, and do what you need to do. The Knicks had 23 offensive rebounds. I don't know if it, 23. Out rebound, offensive rebound, 23 to nine. 
That'd be interesting. How many second chance points did they have? Can we see that? Hold on. They had had a commanding lead with that. 23 offensive rebounds. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You get 23, three, 23 offensive rebounds. Think about how many. Think about. The they got 26. You scored off of those 23 right? 26 off of those 26 23? second chance points. You're going to win the game huh? every time. The Sixers had eight. So a plus eighteen. You're win the game. You're gonna you're gonna win the game every yep. time. Yep, yep. So Knicks whole serve at home uh, on a night in which uh, uh, Jalen uh, uh, Brunson did not shoot the ball particularly well. Normally, guys like Jalen Brunson when they don't shoot well game one, they come back and light your ass up in game two. Sixers, you better be on your best behavior. You better be on your best behavior. Mm -hmm. The T Wolves yeah. beat the Suns 129-95 with 47.7 sec uh, seconds remaining in the third quarter. Ant drifted to the left wing, shot a shot over Trey, shot a Trey over Kevin Durant, looked at him because he said that's his favorite player. Uh, they had a fun oh, yeah. moment together, and um, Ant Man spoke about this after the game. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. Ant. <laughs> The little back and forth with Kevin Durant there in the third quarter. How fun is that, and what do you make of the atmosphere tonight? Um, I think everybody here knows that's my favorite player of all time, so that was probably one of the best feelings ever in my whole life, for sure. That's dope. Yeah. That's I mean, it's, it's been to, to, to go against people that you actually – I mean, think about it. Oh, yes! Look up to and watch. Man, that has, to be, that has yes. to be one of the greatest feelings of all time. And then to come out there, to have a good game, to hit a shot like that, on the person you look up to. <laughs> and listen, I think this is one of these moments. I think at one point in time when Zion was coming out, I think they were trying to make Zion the face of the NFL. I mean, I'm talking about NFL. I thought they were trying to make Zion the next LeBron mm -hmm. James, the face of the NBA. I could be wrong. I just want to know what you think about Anthony Edwards being next in line as the face of the well, league. Well, who's the first guy to win the championship? Because you got to win. You're going to have to win. He's doing that. This is the second year in the playoffs. Right. So you're right. going to have to win. Jason Tatum says, hey, I want, play, I want dibs. Ant-Man, clearly. Because the thing is with him, he has the personality. Mm -hmm. He has the charisma. To go he with has it. the charm. Exactly. He knows how exactly. to talk. Mm -hmm. uh, ja, he gets, he gets his situation resolved. He gets his head on straight. Right. Mm-hmm. The league is going to look. Ain't nobody going to be the face of the league until LeBron and Steph leave. Right. Right. Okay. I, yeah, you're right. You're right. I see, I see what you mean. I see, I see what you mean. But he just looks like he's poised to be next, yeah. man. He, he looks like he's poised to be next. And then when you watch his game, mm -hmm. chat, tell me I'm not lying. Tell me I'm not lying. If Anthony Edwards' movements, his mannerisms, do not remind you of 23 that played for Chicago. Yeah. I'm not he's saying bigger. he's Michael Jordan. I'm just saying his movement, his mannerisms are yeah. exactly the same. Man. Exactly. <laughs> but you look at these guys, if you look at Jordan when he got early in his career, man, you don't realize how mm -hmm. thin he was. Oh, but yeah, he was, like little. he was little. He was little. Yeah, he was little. <laughs> I said, man, yeah. damn, Jordan like a stick figure. Yeah. But, man, you talk about athleticism. And he messed around and mm -hmm. got with a, a, a Tim Grover. Yeah, put a little size on him. Mm. It was good yeah. night, Irene. It was good night. It was good <laughs> night, Irene. And then he got yeah. he cut. You know, Jordan was not a was not a. He was super athletic. He was not a great mm -hmm. shooter. He turned himself into that. Mm -hmm. He turned himself into that mid range shot. You you, you don't think he was a good not a when good he came shooter? out. No, not when he came out. He got better. He turned himself into it. What he saw. That was a, that okay, okay. that turned out to be the money his money shot mm -hmm. that pull up he get going and then yeah, pull that up mid, that mid yeah. range that mid and the range. fall away yeah. you see Kobe you see guys have mm -hmm. added that to their repertoire now yeah. Dirk came in and started with the one leg you see a lot of guys you oh, see Kevin Durant you see LeBron and you can't even you you can't even get you to him Sam you can't even defend it here. <laughs> can't even defend it hey but this this is gonna be a fun series look. I don't mm -hmm. really take too much out of the first because the, the home team, I mean, obviously we'd have a different story if one of the road teams win. We have something different to talk about. Right. But they held serve right. at home. 
you think, okay, there's a reason why we wanted home court. We hell serve at home. Let's make sure we get two of these. And then we go on the road and see what happens. Try to get one, try yeah. to get one there. But the team still, you got to steal one on the to. road. Got to steal one on the road. All right, Ocho, check this out. It's time for a news yeah. cap. News cap. <laughs> Dak, Dak's not trying to be the highest paid quarterback in his next contract. Let's take a listen to what Dak had to say in regards to his next contract. Yeah, no, I'm not trying to be the highest paid uh, necessarily. Um, so I'll, I'll w- w- wait till negotiations begin and, and um, obviously want to put this team in the best situation. So, Have your feelings changed at all about your desire to be wanting to be in Dallas past 2025? No, I'm I'm focused on, on on here right now, where I am. That's always how I've been. Uh, you can anytime you've asked me, it's always been about right now, um, getting better tomorrow. And I've been in this situation before, so it's okay. I'm fine. And in in, in, in in any situation at that point, betting on myself or playing this year out. And uh, yeah. Key words. Key words I heard from uh, that. Betting on yes. myself. I like that. Betting mm-hmm. on myself. Listen, if I'm Dak, if I'm Dak, Dak, I know you're going to see this. I love you, baby. Holla at your boy. Anyway, if I was you, I would take the Kirk Cousins route and bet on right. myself. That's something Kirk has been doing for how long? When he was with Washington? When he was yeah, with, he uh, got two, he the got two franchise he tags. Do? He played on hey, two franchise hey. tags. Yeah, I, I understand that. But also, I'm betting on Went myself. Went to Minnesota, got three years fully guaranteed, then got another three years fully guaranteed. You, you know what? He, this is his, this is Dak's last year, right? Yeah, this is last year on his contract. Yeah, it, it, you, you know you know what I would do, right. honestly. I wouldn't even want no deal. I wouldn't even want no deal. I'm gonna bet on myself because listen, it don't take all this time for no other quarterbacks when it's time to get paid and understanding what you have. There are no other options right now for the Cowboys. You, he is the future. Is he the future or is he not? There's nothing to be negotiating about. The numbers are the numbers. The market is the market. It ain't shit to talk about. <laughs> so that's how y'all feel? Is that how right. y'all feel? We we, we want to prolong everything? You know what? If I was Dak, I'd say, you know what? i will tell my agent, but don't worry about it. I'm finna bet on myself. And after this season, man, go ahead and break the bank somewhere. Go ahead and break the bank. I know you want to say all the right things. I don't want to be the highest paid. I understand what you mean. Listen, everything you're going to say right now is politically right. correct. I'm just saying what I would do and I would like you to do, I would like you to say, you know what, I'm not going to play the game that they want to play over at Jerry's mm-hmm. World. I'm going to play my last contract out, play the season out, and go elsewhere and break the bank. I, For me, I get what you're saying, Ocho. It all depends on how close to the number that I, I can tolerate. Let's just say, Ocho, I want $50 million a year. Ooh. I want, hey, hey, they say, you know what, Shannon? Okay, Ocho, you want fifty million a year, five year right. deal. Mm. We can only get to forty six. So tell me, what can't you do with two hundred and thirty million that you can do with two hundred and fifty million? That's a good one, right? I like. I like when you listen when you put it like that. You make sense because you if, you blow, like that, if you blow, if you if you blow two fifty, you go blow two thirty. <laughs> if you blow yep. two thirty, you go blow two fifty. Oh, yeah. So that's that's the thing. How close are the number can they get to that I can say, you know what? I can live with it. Because the even swap mm-hmm. ain't no swindle. Both people got to feel like they're getting screwed in order in mm-hmm. order for it to be a good deal, Ocho. Because if right, you right, feel right. like if, if the team feel like you got over them, they're gonna have resentment. If you feel the team got mm-hmm. over on you, you're gonna have resentment. So both teams, right. both parties need to feel like they got screwed over in order for it to be right. like, damn, he got me. God dang it, man, they got me, man. Woo, oh. Damn. I don't know. I just I just don't like the way I, they I, play. You, you know, I, I, I love I, I, I love the game yeah. of football. I love the Dallas Cowboys. I love the Dallas fans. I love the, the players that are in Dallas. I just don't like the way it's run as a circus by the individual who is the ringleader. That that's all. And I mean no disrespect by that. 
And especially when it comes to when it comes to the posi- the, the quarterback position, there's one thing you don't do is you don't play with them. You make sure you take care of them first so there's no uncertainty mm-hmm. and so they know that they're all in on you as the future and the quarterback of that yeah. team. I yeah. mean, man. See, the, the pro- don't, don't get mad. Oh, oh, they plan. They plan. Here's games, the problem man. that I have is that everybody holds Dak from me. And, you know, hey, look, I, I, I don't pull any punches. I hold everybody accountable. But, you know, it seems to me that oh, people only hear what I heard. I hold certain people accountable. You can't right. say, well, paying Dak all that money and it hadn't won us anything. You played a lot of quarterbacks a lot of money. So if you really look at right. it in that turn, went, the only person that nothing. deserved to be paid did is Patrick Mahomes. So if we're just looking at quarterbacks paid and that have won right. something, only Patrick right. Mahomes is deserving of that. So right. you can't say, well, we paid Dak all that money and he ain't won nothing. Man, they done paid Kirk Cousins a trillion dollars. They, mm-hmm. paid, they paid Josh Allen a ton of money. They played a lot of quarterbacks. Yeah. Right. So that, that's that's my mm-hmm. only argument. And yeah, you want big bucks, big expectations. There's a reason why come, CEOs come make the money they make because they have a harder job than everybody else. Oh, yeah. So the quarterback has a more difficult job. You could understand why he makes the most. I'm not saying, mm-hmm. I'm not, no, look. I'm not saying just because he's a quarterback, he should make – if he's terrible, he shouldn't make more than a cornerback that's better than him. Or he shouldn't make more right. than a defensive lineman or an offensive lineman. But I'm saying, in this situation, I think everybody in the chat understand what we're talking about. We're talking about these elite-level mm-hmm. quarterbacks. And, and look, whether you think Dak is elite or not, he's paid like an elite-level quarterback. I mean, we throw that term elite around too loosely. Because I remember when I yeah. got the league, yeah. they, they wasn't talking about they, a guy, a guy, you know, Won four or five games in a row. Wasn't nobody shouting elite. Mm-hmm. Wasn't nobody shouting elite. You know, you yeah. had a handful of guys. You had the Elways. You had the Montanas. You had the Marinos. There was a handful of guys that got that label right. elite. Now, yeah. guy, we, hey, guy win 10 games. He elite. Huh? So, with no Pro Bowls, no MVPs, no suit. So, okay. That's how y'all, hey, to each, everybody got their own criteria. Yeah. What? I mean, the criteria changes depending on who you're asking and who the player is being talked yeah. about. But again, when it comes to Dak, if I was you, I'm betting on myself. I'm betting on myself. <laughs> you know what? I ain't even worried. You know what? Forget negotiations. Oh, Joe, they can't be right here. now. Just fo- focus on focus on C.D. Lamb. Focus on C.D. Lamb and focus they on got five, oh, Joe, Michael Parsons. They got five years, $230 million right now. With a hundred, with a hundred, with a hundred and twenty fully guaranteed, you saying no? I'm gonna bet on myself. You know what? Hold on, hold on. I don't like five years. They're not going. Let's let's give Dak. Let let's let's give Dak three year. Let's give Dak three year two fifty. With a hundred, with a hundred, with a hundred and thirty guaranteed. Bro, they're not giving no Dak no eighty two million dollars a year. You out your damn mind? <laughs> oh my bad. I ain't think that one through. This man say give hey, three years try, Hey, listen, I'm, 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 hey, I'm, I'm trying to get my dog as much money as possible. I'm just, hey, listen, from my mouth to God ears. <laughs> hey, Ocho, you do, Ocho, you do realize forty six million over five years. Yeah. I mean, damn, that's two hundred thirty, Ocho. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I like it. I just. Oh, you I, gonna I say I'm gonna bet on I'm gonna bet you on know, myself, and I because I won't fit you. No, I just. I don't think that's enough money for Dak. Can I tell you why? I don't think it's enough money for Dak because there isn't an amount of money that Dak can be paid from Jerry Jones based on the type of shit he got to deal with with that organization. (laughs) What he got to deal with with that owner, always in front of the camera. All the unwanted, all the unneeded pressure coming from the owner. He needs every bit of dollar based on what he has to deal with when he's under that umbrella, everything that has to do with the Dallas Cowboys and that star. Yeah. You know, look. He needs to be com- he needs to be compensated as such. So, sometimes. You need therapy to play for the Cowboys. <laughs> you need counseling to play for the Cowboys. The fans need counseling and therapy because they always, always are promised things and it no, never happens. I need therapy for dealing with them. This our year, they win two or three games, <laughs> they'd be all in the chat. 
We them boy. How you like us now? You ain't talking now. Oh, what you say? I say, see, okay. Yeah. Just, like, you, just give it time. Just give it time. You already know what's gonna happen. Yeah. You you, yeah. you already yeah. know. And cause see, this year different. Even on even on the, the network I'm on. Oh, this year just yeah. seems different. They're more complete team. You say this every year. I've seen them when they've had 12 pro bowlers. I've seen it when they've had the all pros at this. I mean, think about it. They had an all pro guard, guard an all pro, two all pro guards, an all pro tackle, all pro wide receiver, mm-hmm. all pro quarterback, all pro, all pro cornerback. What well, the How much more you got? How much more you need? Mm-hmm. And, the, and the, you know what? I always hear people say, people love to say, oh, Dak is overrated. Or people love to say Dak isn't worth this. Well, tell me the quarterbacks. Well, you are. you worth what somebody's willing to pay. Look at look at look at look at look at look at the landscape of the league. Look at the quarterbacks and continuously winning year in and year out. And tell me why Dak is not worthy. Because only one team win the Super Bowl at the end of the year. Only one team. Only one team. And they're very there's a small amount of quarterbacks that have their team to contention <laughs> year in and year out. Yeah. A, a very small amount. So tell me why Dak is not worthy. Because there's nobody else that you can take from another team and put them on the Cowboys. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about not, not I'm not talking about the main star. Yeah, I know you're talking about you, yeah. You're not moving Patrick, you're not moving Patrick Mahomes, you're not moving Josh Allen, you're not moving Lamar Jackson. Girl, you're not you're, you're not, not getting one of those guys. Josh Allen. You you, right. you know what I mean? So tell me who else you would pick and put him in the Cowboys position at the quarterback position, and you would still get the same results. See, here's the thing, though, Ocho, and what we have to be careful of is saying worth. Because how many times, like, man, that car ain't worth that. Well, somebody paid $3 million for that car, so clearly it was worth it. Mm-hmm. Man, I wouldn't mm-hmm. pay no $20 million, no $50 million for no house. Clearly somebody paid that for it, so it was worth it. Right. Something is mm-hmm. only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. You can okay. say I'm yeah. worth this all you want to. But if nobody's mm-hmm. willing to pay you that salary, you're not worth it. I know worth my it, worth. Right. What is your worth? What is somebody willing to pay you for that? Mm. You hear that all the time. I know my value. Who determined it? Okay, you? You going to pay yourself? Yeah. Yeah. So while well, you're doing all this, I know my worth. I know my value. Uh, yeah. If somebody doesn't pay you that, you're not that valuable. You're not worth hey, it. Hey, you know what? I'm glad. I like I like that you just said that because that's that's another one. Now I'm, I'm off topic. Just I know a you're going bit. with this too. Women, yeah, the women women love that. <laughs> women love that. I know my value. What is that value in yeah. general? That's a great. Topic I'm the prize. We, we, I'm we, the prize. We, we, well, yeah. let me ask you a question. The, the, when I'm they the, tell you I'm tell the me, prize, talk. I'm the prize. Talk to well, me. who the collector? <laughs> <laughs> who won the prize? Come on, come, you come keep on, preach. You telling me you the prize, but guess what? Right there. Right. I see you still sitting on the shelf. Ain't nobody purchased Ooh. it yet. Why you bumping Ooh. your goats? Come on, huh? Uh. I mean, come in order for it to be a prize, somebody has to be willing to win it, right? Somebody has, you know, the right. lottery. Right, right. The big game, Mega Million, Fantasy Five, Cash Four. Talking that. You come know, on. come on, Pastor. Yes, I mean, sir. normally I'm playing like, okay, you the prize. Okay, so is anybody ever going to win it? Or does mm. anybody try to win it? Or does anybody want mm. it? Because there are a lot of times there are prizes that I don't even want that. Oh, come on. See, I, come I'm on, just man. saying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, did, I, just, I just thought about it. I know it. you I was going. It that was, it, I, it, see, once I started. Yeah, yeah. I, I see it all the time. And I just I just like the wording. And then when you said, well, somebody has to be willing to pay what that value yes! is. Because you can't determine what the value is yourself. Right. You can't do that. That and that's what it looks. Okay. I understand. And so me, mm-hmm. this is what I like about what the platforms that we have, because we get determined our worth. Right. But I got mm-hmm. tired of being viewed as talent. I take a check, I move it along. Right. And right. within that scheme, I can only get what I'm entitled to, what I signed for. But in this, mm-hmm. I can create as many shows as I possibly can that the viewing audience, that the listening audience like, mm-hmm. and then I get to determine that worth. Mm. I like it. Because the more shows you have, the more shows people like, they're going to view it, advertise the sponsors going to come. Mm-hmm. So y'all need to stop talking about, oh, I'm worth this. 
Not if somebody won't buy you a Birkin. Not if somebody won't buy you mm -hmm. a house or a condo or a car. Mm -hmm. right. You're not worth that. Right. You're only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. So I don't care because you hear that all the time. I was at a guy's house uh, about six months ago. Probably about six months ago. Yes, sir. Yeah. Probably conservative. Having a conversation with him. Yeah. He walked in. He saw the house. 80 million. 80, 80 million. And got him up out of there. He said, don't take anything. 80. 80. Beautiful. Told me I can get it. Hey, hey, told me I can get it for the weekend if I need it. I said, you know what? I said, but man, ain't nobody. I ain't a. Hey, she got to be an angel. Sit down from the heavens above right. to come up yeah. in here. I he wouldn't said, even think about bringing 80, somebody up in 80, 80 million? Hit a button in the whole side of the house, goes into the floor. You what? overlooking, I can damn near see San Francisco. Infinity. They, when they, Buzz Light, you got be infinity some, and they, beyond. He's talking about the pool. Right. On an infinity and beyond Olympic size pool that got levels. Man, stop. This got to be somebody in tech, huh? They got to be somebody in tech. Look here. All I all I heard he say, if you need it, just let me give me the heads up. Hey, <laughs> you really? You know, so <laughs> oh Joe. <laughs> hey, listen, do you know the kind of money you gotta be making to buy an $80 million house? Yeah, I know. Oh, that that's CEOs, that's uh, the owner of something, eighty million. Tell him, tell him to leave it as is. Don't take nothing. That that's real. Just the, just that's the clothes on talk. your back. That's, hey, that's that's that slick talk. And probably gonna mess around and, and redo it and, and redo everything and anyway. Like, Man, please, like, but so that that's that's what it, and, and you know, I heard a uh, uh, a guy had a bunch of money. He's probably worth. Probably seven billion. Mm. And to hear them talk the way they talk. Oh, yeah. And he said, Shannon, I don't need any more money, but I don't need any less either. <laughs> he says, I have something in this position that I'm in that most people will never have. I said, Well, what's mm. that? He said, Enough. <laughs> When people say I got that F you money, when you start oh, yeah. getting into the bills, you start getting three, four, yeah. five, six, fifty, a hundred million. Yeah. But at that point in time, yeah. what do you buy? That you I mean, if you spend a if you spend a thousand dollars a day, if you started spending it before Christ, you couldn't spend it all in a lifetime. So at mm -hmm. what point in time do you like, okay, I want a car? Okay, you got the most expensive car, now what? Well, I want a house over here, right. over there, over there. Then now what? You right. just run out of stuff to buy. Mm -hmm. So for me, like that's what made me change, like worth, worth, worth. And I was, I was, I was, a, I was a big proponent of that man. I'm worth this, or that person ain't worth that. Well, somebody paid that person that, so clearly they thought they right. was worth it. They, they, they're worth it, right? Just because I don't, that doesn't mean somebody else won't. Same way, because you know, <laughs> we all been there, Ocho. You ain't gonna find nobody. Hey, women, don't y'all believe that? Don't y'all believe over? Mm -hmm. Hey, ain't nobody, ain't, no, right. ain't nobody, whatever. Just like when y'all told oh, me, yeah, ain't so nobody gonna want me. Watch, I'm gonna walk right out this door and get yeah. me somebody. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's one thing when it comes to women, with women, there will always be a man that's willing for sure. There will always be a man that's willing to do what you want. Now, you might not get everything you want, depending on the type of man you want, but there will always be a man that is willing. Now, you think you're going to get you one of these one percenters and, you know, he going to sweep you off your feet. And you're not going to have to walk, you know, work a day in your life like they yeah. do in the movies. Nah, that ain't likely. That ain't likely. You got you to be real. You got to be realistic. But there's always there will always be. A man, women love to say, I deserve. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You do. You All of you deserve, but you also have yeah, to be Yeah, but you got to stop that. I, I deserve to be happy. A man can't make you happy. Happiness oh, yeah, is yo, what you start, create. That, start, that ain't it, what you find. Yeah, yeah that's start from within.
Yeah, that's the yeah. 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 And they they always equate happiness to the materialist possessions that they are able mm -hmm. to receive. Every time. <laughs> Shit. See, Ocho, see how you done got us off topic? Oh yeah, my bad. Hey, my hey, bad. Bro, I ain't mean to hey, do that. I just, heard, I just, I just, I just, I heard the word value. When you, when, you, when you talk about value, it just, it just, it, it, tr it triggers something. It just triggers something. Hey, so y'all need to start with this foolishness talking about. Oh, elite prize fighters don't care about belts. That's how you're judged. They said, they said elite prize yeah, fighters don't care about belts. I've, I've never heard elite fighter in general say that. Ex that's you know what people say when people don't care about. Championships and stuff like that ain't never won nothing. They ain't never won anything. Because what do yeah, you, you what you, that's like said, that's like I'm a jockey. And I said, Well, I don't care mm -hmm. about winning the Kentucky Derby. I don't care about winning the Preakness or the Triple Crown or the Santa Anita. I don't care about winning the Breeders' Cup. Then what the hell are you a jockey for? Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm chat, correct me if I'm wrong, but the belts do matter. Of course they do. Because as as you continue to attain different belts if i'm not mistaken doesn't that give you the leverage to command yes. the kind of money yes. you want yes yeah I, a person I, I that don't have no belts works, don't so get the, not... don't get to don't get to control anything now maybe yeah. somebody says you know what i want to take the fight just because mm -hmm. but right. floyd got everything that he wanted because he had the belts oh yeah canelo gets yeah. to fight who he wants because he has yeah. the belts he pick and choose yes yeah yes yeah. Man, Canelo, Canelo command forty million at the gate. That be full pay per view. So what man. guy that don't have a belt can command forty million? Tell me the fighter that can command the purse that the the. Like, granted, now when Tyson got out, mm -hmm. but there's only been one Mike Tyson. Yeah, there's only been one him. That's crazy, man. Forty million out so, the gate. That's be full pay per view without a belt in fighting. How can you? There's a reason why. Now, look, in most sports now, you get outliers like Connor mm -hmm. McGregor. In the, in the, yeah. But Connor said, if you think about all the guys, because no, normally it takes a it takes a person that, that became a fighter, kind of down on their luck, right. kind of downtrodden. You had the hard mm -hmm. upbringing. It's like, yeah, I want to make a way, but I want to be a champion. Mm -hmm. That's how you remembered a champion. Right. That's why they have belts. If belt didn't matter, they wouldn't have one, would they? Think about it. Mm -hmm. Name something that you compete in that's a sport that you don't get to get a trophy or a belt. Cornhole, they give you a belt. You win You win a, 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 a Formula One, they give you something. So now all of a sudden, mm -hmm. the highest prize that's in your sport, it don't matter. Then it just goes to show you. They, yeah, they just, they just people, talking. They, they, people, <laughs> they, just, they just talking. I'm just glad Hopefully, I never played with people like that. Because, Ocho, I remember when I used to train, when I would go back home, and guys were like, man, where you mm. train at? I would tell them. What time you train? I would tell them. And they didn't show up. I'm like, they ain't on my team. I don't care. I'm telling you what I'm doing. Right. I'm running myself into exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. do you? Hey, how many you got today? We got 20. We got 2110. Or we got 15150. Or we got jumbos. Ooh. Three foes, three threes, three twos, three one fifties, three hundred. I remember them days. Oh man. Hey, I'm gonna finish mine. Oh, Ocho, I finished, I finished. I we I won okay today. We got 30. I did 31 tens. I did the I did Ooh. the last 10 by myself because everybody called it a day. Y'all was you you was on time too, uh, right? Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. How many? How many? How many minutes you rest in between? You remember? Or no? Uh, I started out. I started out with forty-five, and then the last ten. Whew, <laughs> that last ten, I need oh. a minute. I need yeah, a minute, bro. Yeah, 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 Cause that yeah, thing yeah. come quick. That's dope. Because see, that's that's good. Hey, that's good conditioning sure. right there, boy. Because discipline requires you to do your very best when no one else is watching. Yes. When Watch they you, left, man. I could have like, hell, ain't nobody else out here. I could have just told them I did. Gone. But yeah, I would have known. And so now I'm late in the third or the fourth quarter. I'm wondering why I can't dig down and get it. Don't be mad mm -hmm. at the results you didn't get for the work you didn't put in. See, that's mm -hmm. what people do. I don't know why. What about that work? 
Did you put yeah. the work Cutting in? Corners. Did you put the time Cutting in? Corners. Did you put the energy in? Did you put the effort in? Everybody wants something for nothing. Nothing. Everybody want to go to heaven, Cutting Ocho. Corners. Nobody wants dead. Now, the Bible teaches us you can't come in here unless you go through that process. Mm -hmm. So now, I ask you this. When you write down your goals, and everybody normally writes down goals, now, do you write, so in the left column, you're writing down your goals. In the right column, do you write down what you're willing to sacrifice to get it? Mm. See, everybody will tell you what they want, but who will tell you what right. they'll do to get it? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Well, see, you don't deserve it. You see, you haven't you earned it. You don't want it. You don't want it bad Everybody enough. writes down their goals in the left. But in the right column, do you write down what you're willing to sacrifice to get it? No. Right. And then when you don't, well, he messed over me. Or they don't like me on the job. Or this happened. Or right. that happened. Yeah, okay. Okay. You one of those. Everything you, you have to be the most unluckiest person in the world. Because from the time you were three years old, you gave me an excuse for why. But can you give me one reason why not? Mm. No. Man, stop it. Y'all ain't finna. That's, that's the problem. Oh, Joe, everybody. See, for me, yeah. man, why you? Because I want to be the best. Yeah. I don't think me, I'm better than anybody. I think I'm better at what I do because I know what I'm willing to do to get. I know the sacrifices and I ain't got no problem. And everybody that's in my life understands it. And if you don't, oh, well, life okay. Mm -hmm. I people like don't it. Want that. People don't want you to tell, people want you to tell them a warm, fuzzy story, which, Anna, you know, you mm -hmm. did that. No, 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 bro. No. Shannon watched his grandparents sacrifice. Until, you know, my grandfather, you know, my grandfather was feeling, feeling, man, Ocho, you know how you, you I used to get free lunch, but my grandfather, right. all of a sudden, he wanted to feel big and bad. He ain't want me, hey, we, we ain't gonna get no free lunch. Man, that man liked to starve me, Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> man, the, the 50 cent, you had a 50 cent a day? People like, 50 cent? Right. Man, 50 cent was a lot of damn money back in the 70s. Back then, yeah. Because think about it. 50 cent a day, five days a week. That's two dollars and fifty cent. Yeah. Me, my brother, and sister. That's seven fifty. Mm. A week? Times four weeks? Man, hey, you better put down there. there. Hey, we ain't got no money. Let me get <laughs> man, let me get this free. <laughs> and let me pay a nickel for for chocolate, extra chocolate milk. Man, right. come on, pop up, man. You about to starve me in here. Trip. Man, please. But that's what I oh Joe, when I a lot of times like when I do fire uh five side chats or I do public speaking, that's what I, I and I and I tell people. I and I said, okay. When you wanted to achieve something, you said, I want to do this. But on the other side, did you write mm -hmm. down this is what I'm willing to do to get it? That's called mm -hmm. a sacrifice. And the greater the goal, the greater the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. nothing great oh, was yeah. ever achieved without enthusiasm. I go to work every day. You Not one time. John always asked me all the time. He's like, T, how you come to work happy every day? I've never seen you in a bad mood. Same thing at CBS. Right. Same thing at Fox. I was like, bro, do you understand I dripped, I laid in that bed, that ironed ass bed, getting rained on, dreaming of this moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm here. I get to live out my dreams. I get to take care of my family beyond anything I could have even imagined. Man, please, what is that to be sad about? Ocho. Yeah. Man, please. Y'all. Patrick Mahomes has passed on hosting Saturday Night Live out of fear. 
after declining, after declining a chance to host, Mahomes revealed why he didn't feel ready to accept. I have a little bit, a little bit of fear of the teleprompter. Mahomes was still scared from a bad experience that he suffered at the ESPYs. Uh, it's not easy because that's not. It's repetition. And yeah. when I went to school, you know, when I went to CBS, oh, I have a very collo- heavy colloquial dialect. If you listen to my brother mm-hmm. talk, listen to me talk, you wouldn't know we were brothers. Because they're like, right. how can two people raised in the same house right. speak so differently? Mm-hmm. And so I went, had, and I was getting, going, the lady was coming down from Philadelphia working with me every other weekend when I was in New York. Went out to Dallas and talked mm-hmm. to people's speech. Um, a lot of speeches cadence. A lot of speeches like they give you hick, tick, sick, Rick, stuff like that. A lot of alliteration. Right. Better by a Buick, buddy, to get you to to speak, enunciate your words. Enunciate. My problem is, right. is that I go fast. And when I go fast, my voice rises. So now you hear that high pitch. <laughs> look at look at Ashley. <laughs> she got a she, she got a t-shirt. She got a sweatshirt over her eyes because that's how I am. When I get excited, my voice rises. Right. Now like when I'm just like talking to you, I have a very, mm-hmm. bar- a very deep voice. But as I get excited, yeah. my voice rises. And then it's hard for me to enunciate words. It's hard for me for people to understand. And so, right. man, man, I'm watching inside the NBA and I'm looking at Charles Barkley talk. I'm like, <laughs> you put your word worse than I do. Right, man. Please let me. I, I'm done. I ain't going to no more therapy. I ain't going to no more nothing. This is right. who I am. Mm-hmm. What you see is what you get, Ocho. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm. I mess up every blue moon. Depending <laughs> on, you know, you know, it's funny. Depending on what show I'm on, or what camera I'm yeah. on, I can. I, I, I flip the script real right. quick and change the way I talk really right. fast. Or when I'm on here, I could just be my goddamn <laughs> self and 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 say and say what I want to say. But hey, inside the NFL, you know, I'm gonna change it up yeah. really quick and talk as professional yeah. as possible. And I one of the things I have to work on that I have a problem with is I talk so damn right. fast. I talk so fast, and because I'm talking so fast, I'm not thinking out what I want to say. I'm just letting it go and it's just <laughs> running off. And yeah. sometimes I mispronounce words, yeah. I say it wrong because I I, I never slow down. Right. I never slow. I have to. I have to slow down. I need to take classes. Well, myself. that's the thing when you read the prompter. The first thing they tell you is that you have more time than you think. And I always, right. anytime that I do ad reads or I have to do something in prompter, I have to always tell myself, Shannon, you got more time than you think. You got more time right. than you think. You got more time than you think. And so, I go through it a couple of times. I read it four or five times, and you know, and then you get a cadence of it because you have to realize, mm-hmm. like when, like Patrick Mahomes. That prompter is at the back of the room. And it's yeah. it's big. Yeah. Now it's big, but mm-hmm. it's still at the back of the room. Now, normally when right. you read, ain't nothing moving, just your eyes. But now, as you read that prompter, that prompter is moving. Yeah. And what you want to do, you feel you need to speed up also. So mm-hmm. that was the problem that yeah. I was running into. So for me, I'm like, hey, bro, no, hey, I try to do as little prompter as I ever as I have as I as I can, but here, right. you know, I have ad reads. I have ad reads for Club yeah. Shay Shay. I have stuff that I have to do, but, right. and then you're like, okay, you tell yourself, okay, you got more time than you think. Mm-hmm. Make, you know, I come in here early. I read through it, get the cadence mm-hmm. of it. Okay. But yeah. it's not, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah. I I, I like prompter. I, I prefer prompter as as opposed to looking at a script and having to memorize right. it and just say it in my words, I prefer having a prompter with the with the script in there where it sounds like me, as opposed to just seeing it on paper and trying to memorize it, then regurgitating it out. And I mean, when I think about Mahomes and being on SNL, I don't, I don't, th- I don't think that's really not his personality. That that that's, yeah. that's it just it that it, it doesn't fit, yeah. you know, him and who he is, especially right now. I think I think it's too early for him. And it, it would almost be having to force him to do something that he's uncomfortable with in general, outside of just the prompter, just just the the way he is, the way he carries himself. 
SNL is really not not him. Now Peyton, Peyton Manning, that's yeah. him. Travis Kelsey, but see, that's him. That, but that's what you their but see, Here's the thing, though. See what you just said. That's what you compare it against. Guys that have done it and have been great at it. See, yeah, I don't like yeah. to do things. Most guys that are great at things don't like to do things they're not great at. Great at right, right. Patrick Mahomes exactly. is here. You mean to tell me all of yeah. a sudden just reading something in a little monitor? Mm-hmm. No, I'm not good at that, bro. So I ain't doing it. <laughs> right. See me, I don't like I don't like prompter because I just move. See, I just like for the. This is easy for me. I barely barely sit and just look directly into the camera. Mm-hmm. Camera find me. I'm talking. I'm having a conversation. So when I'm at a podium, I'm just having a conversation. I'm talking to somebody. I look out in the crowd. I move up and down. But I'm not. I'm not really looking until I'm not unless I have something directly to say. That way, okay, Ocho, I'm talking directly to you. Or if I'm looking, mm-hmm. I'm talking directly, but for the most part, camera, follow me. I'm having a conversation. Mm-hmm. We're in the barbershop. Right. I mean, when we're in the barbershop and we're talking to people, we ain't looking directly at that person. We talking. Check this out, Ocho. Jim, Brent Beach yep. said, is the latest member of the Chiefs to back Kadarius Tony. Beach said Kadarius Tony problem. Our most talented is probably our most talented wires out. Says it's just a matter of him he staying is. healthy, and I don't think we've ever stopped believing in him. Mm. I don't buy that. You know, you know, you know how. Listen, uh, you, you guys, you you guys we got to keep it. We got to keep it. Keep his value yeah. up just in case we do decide. To yeah, be- we got. We got to. We got to. Yeah, that that too. It's it's all a game. It's all a game. It's all smoke and mirrors. Bunch of bullshit. Obviously, but he did say something right. Kadarius Tony and being the most skilled. Receiver that they do have, yes, mm-hmm. yes, he is. If if when he's healthy and when he's used correctly, he is dynamic. He's special. Just things just didn't work out. Concentration, Ocho. He you know, he got huh? Ocho. Okay, I can run the perfect route, and he's mm-hmm. a tremendous route runner. But oh, what yeah. good is a great oh, route yeah. if I drop the ball? Yeah, you're right. If I'm shoot, right. I mean that just if I'm shooting Ocho, me and you playing he- basketball. Okay, mm-hmm. I need to box you out to get the rebound. The possession doesn't, right. don't, doesn't start until I grab the rebound. Well, if you miss the mm-hmm. shot and I don't get the rebound, what have I done? You run that right. great route, and then you drop the ball. Yeah, I mean that's that's something he could work on in the off season. You got I'm, listen to, to he's he's going to be somewhere else, and he he needs a fresh start. He needs a fresh start to get things going. Now I'm not sure what the Rasheed Rice Rasheed Rice situation mm-hmm. is like. Now I think they might keep him based on the situation. Oh, he ain't going nowhere. What's going to happen with him? I mean, I know he's not going nowhere, but I'm sure he might have to might might have to sit a little bit. Yeah, they're pro- probably on... probably he probably missed a couple of games. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's that's it. But I, I think they they might keep him. It, I, mean, I I don't know. I just know he's dynamic, and he 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 again he's already, no. You know he, he can be dynamic. Fresh start. Yeah, well, he can be dynamic. This 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 was. He he's already getting a fresh start, obviously from from being in New York, and I would I would love for him to see it work, you know, in Kansas City. And if it doesn't, sometimes you need more than one, one fresh start, and that that that's fine as well. Yeah, I, but the, the question I always I always you ask yourself, man, a guy this talented, first round pick, and a team was willing to move on the guy for one year, like damn. And then you yeah. gave, and then you trade him for what you traded him for. I'm like damn. So okay, so now I'm thinking. Yeah. Now I'm playing, paying close attention, Ocho, because something ain't something mm-hmm. ain't right now. Something ain't right. Hold yeah. on. After one year, a team gave up on a first round pick, and you mm-hmm. traded him for what you traded him for, and then and he didn't help matters. Look, bro, Ocho, look, I, and I get it because everybody deals mm-hmm. with rejection differently. I mean, obviously it's yeah. stung, bro. I'm a, what we just talking about, Ocho? I'm a first round pick, and y'all moved on, right? So now I got yeah. to gloat a little bit, but I think I, I think that's that's what that's what that's what age. I think him being a little young um, probably handled mm-hmm. that situation differently. But everybody handles situations different. You don't know what you right. do until you've been in that situation. I was in that situation. Denver didn't want me. We played them in the first round of the playoffs. We beat them. Not only did we beat them, we went and won the Super Bowl. Right. And I remember when we beat Denver, the, the uh. A reporter asked me, Shannon, you want to call the National Guard on your former team? I'm like, nah. I said, I got a lot of good friends still over there. They're hurting right now. This ain't the time, right. bro. 
this ain't the time. And I remember seeing a lot of guys, man, they, they, they like, Sean, man, we happy for you. Hey, man, go win this thing. But, I mean, to each his own. Some people are like, oh, you did this? You broke up with me? I'm going to go get me a prettier girl or, or a guy with more money. Whatever the case may be, Ocho. Everybody handle Everybody can. We got to stop that. And I was a big proponent of that. This is what I would. Unless you've been in that situation, you don't know. You never know. Yeah. Because it would have been interesting. Had you won the Super Bowl, what would, you, would you have went back to Cincinnati and said, look at your boy? No, no, no. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't boast like that. Yeah, I don't boast like that. Ne- never, never have, never will. Oh, you, oh, so what you but doing I, to the DB? You boasted. Talk about what you going to do. You celebrating on what you doing. I ain't celebrating on them. Nothing I did was ever malicious. Now I do I do my little trash yeah. talking now, you know throughout the week. Yeah, I do my trash talking on the on the on the field, but ain't ne- ain't nothing like like at your head, at your head. Now, now Steve Smith, nah, now nah, that's both. Man, Steve. Man he's gonna, Smitty. He gonna talk, he gonna talk. <laughs> hey, Smitty don't play, boy. He's gonna talk about you, your mama, he's gonna talk about your kids. He gonna he gonna he gonna tussle with you, he's gonna fight with Literally. you. Literally. He's gonna swing, he's gonna swing on you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, Smitty, oh, Smitty man. wild boy, man. He a good dude, yeah, man. but man, but he better now. Yeah, good dude. He better. He, he hey, you know, yeah, yeah. I had him on the pod, but he he's in a better place now. But boy, yeah, hair trigger. He used to snap in a minute. <laughs> my, my, we was at, we was at we was at Santa Monica yeah. together. Remember that? So I was with Smitty for two years, <laughs> way back before we even made it. Alan Marpet says Tom Brady offered cash incentives to teammates for one specific thing. He said Brady took a, a starting offensive lineman to the side, and he's like, "Hey, if you guys can get a screen to go for more than fifteen yards, I'll give you a thousand bucks cash each. That is for you guys. So every time that we get that, I'll be happy to make that payment." Marpet said there were multiple plays that met the standard for the payment. Guys don't need millions of dollars to be incentivized. They don't. Mm-mm. They don't. Mm-mm. We used to get money. Hey, first one to the end zone. Hmm. That's dope, especially coming from twenty Brady. bucks. Man, they're like, man, you make it. Bu-. Hey, mm-hmm. that's it's just a matter of pride, Ocho. Yeah. It's the pride yeah. factor. I mean, hey, we have a great practice. <laughs> hey, mm-hmm. hat day, we win a game. We got hat day. Ooh. No Monday, and we got hat day on Friday. Victory, vi- victory, victory Monday. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. And you know it, it it makes it fun. You you already rich, and the fact that there's another added incentive. It's not much, you know. It's a thousand dollars, you know, for screenplays. It just makes the game that much more fun and wanting to accomplish it for your quarterback and for your teammates, for your teammates too. Man, something small, Man, look. just something small as that. Had you excited and out there competing like hell. Man, Ocho, I remember we used to have Mike gave us that. Say, okay, every time we win a game, victory money hat, victory Monday, hat day on Friday. Right, man, we were damn near a year because <laughs> we beat. Hold on, who we beat? We beat Seattle. No, no, no. Who's the last? No, we beat uh, San Diego. There were the Chargers in San Diego back then, so we beat right. them. Won all the playoff games and the Super Bowl. So we start next year mm-hmm. with Hat Day and Vic and Victory Monday and right. Hat Day. Won thirteen straight. Right. And then Woo. I remember we lost. Like damn, what? Damn. I was more mad about it. Man, y'all done effed up my hat day. Y'all done effed up Victory Monday. <laughs> man, we 13 and old, oh, Joe. Man. man, we lose to the Jets on a Saturday. And I'm like, all I'm thinking about, damn, we got to come into this raggedy mofo on Monday. And now we got to wear mm-hmm. helmets on Friday. That's the only thing I'm thinking about right. walking out the field. Not that we lost the game. Not that we not going to break the uh, 72 Dolphins record. I'm thinking about having yeah. to take my black ass to work on Monday. Work. And yeah. now I got to wear a helmet on Friday. I ain't wore a helmet on Friday in a whole year. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> that was sick. I was sick, Ocho. I got, I, hey, listen, I, I can feel you. One thing about it, you know, during my tenure, boy, I, I, had, I got used to my helmet. Hey, I got used to my helmet because we won. We won minute. We won minute much. And what about hey? What about in, in mini camp? Hey, we have a good day. Hey, oh two days. Ooh. Oh, in mini camp. All right, we have a good practice. Hey, if we have a good practice, y'all can go home today. Y'all ain't got to come in. Y'all don't have to come. Fr- mini camp is over. Or in training camp. All right, 
we have a right. good afternoon practice. I'll give y'all the night off. What? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, right. Well, we have I a good morning days. practice because morning practice, we normally had pads on in the morning and then went, went short yeah, in the always. afternoon. Might come out now. Mm-hmm. It's going to be hard. It's going to be two hours. My A, hey, we have a good practice. Afternoon off. Don't y'all F this up. Uh-uh. At Don't all. y'all F this up. At all. Boy, ooh. Man, we had a fight. That That's what's going to cause a fight. Man, mm-hmm. to get the afternoon off on you. Man, you know them practice was hard. See, it ain't like it is now. We was thudding up oh, back no. then. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We we were hit. We yeah. were hitting that. We was hit. A question went viral asking, is there a better all time trio receivers than the Bengals? Chad Johnson, AJ Green, and Jamar Chase. Man, y'all better stop. I mean, that ain't even close. What you mean that ain't even close? I mean, there there are other there are other trios, but we are up there as well. When it they comes said to, is there a better? The yes. Yes. Oh, a yes. better. I mean, I, I I can name one right now. I can name a bunch of. Randy, Randy, Randy Moss, Chris Carter, and Justin Jefferson. Can I say Jake? And oh, Justin Jefferson. Hold on, let me stay okay, with me now. Okay. Stay with me real quick. Uh, Oz Akeem, Tory Holt, Isaac Bruce, um, T.O. Jerry Rice, and J.J. Stokes. Now I'm not saying I'm I'm not saying better. I'm just naming Michael the Urban, that are, uh, that are Michael Urban, C.D. Lamb, and, and T.O. Ah, no, no, T.O.'s with the 49ers. T.O. played play for the T.O. Cowboys, T.O. too. I know, I know, but I'm, I'm just saying. He was the first team all pro it, with the Cowboys. Yeah, I know, but still. No, he, he played there. Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't do that. Don't try to minimize T.O. Well, if that's the case, then hell, T.O., T.O., A.J. Brown, and A.J. Green. Um, goddamn. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, I'm trying to think who else. Well, ain't nobody be, first of all, <laughs> T.O., Jerry, and anybody else you want to put in San Francisco. I said J.J. Stokes. That, it wasn't J.J. It was Stokes, JJ. right? You can put John Taylor. Yeah, was, you can put Debo. Oh, John Taylor. That's <laughs> right. I forgot about John. I forgot about JT John. was like that now. J.T. Ooh. John Taylor. J.T. Oh, yeah, yeah, was like yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, he was, yeah. yeah I mean, he was nice. obviously, he was nice. You, ain't nobody going to get the credit because you got, you got World Rice on one side, so he getting all the shine. But J.T. was like that for yeah. real. 200 Jet X Slant mm-hmm. against Cincinnati. For the touchdown. They got got, damn that skinny post. You got Isaac Bruce, Henry Ehrlich, Torrey Holt. Uh, You got Green Bay. You got James Lawson, Sterling Sharp, Devontae Adams, uh, Randy Mm -hmm. Moss, Chris Carter, Justin Jefferson. Uh, Yeah. Who else we got? Uh, Or Tim Brown. Tim, Jerry. Tim Brown. Jerry again. Yeah. You got Fred Fred Belitnikov. Fred Belitnikov won the uh, Super Bowl MVP. You remember Fred? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Fred, one number yeah, 25, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a good one. That's, I, I like, I like that. I mean, it, again, it's it's all preference, it's all preference. But we, one thing about them Bengals, but they're gonna draft some receivers, yeah. boy. They've been dragging, oh, been, been, the Steelers. Been the How are we gonna forget about the Steelers? Swan, oh, Stallworth, and AB, Lance, Allworth. Well, who you in? Stallworth, who Swan, else? Swan, Stallworth, AB. Okay, ooh, 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 that's a good one. That's a good and. Yep, that's interchangeable. You could throw highs in there, there too. Yeah, you, you, yeah, that's interchangeable. Yeah, that's a good. One. I like yeah. that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I mean, we probably could have. Uh, if he could have ever made it to the made it to the start of the season, AB might have been might have been with the Raiders too. <laughs> oh yeah, show sure would have. But uh, yeah, sure I mean, it's been some trios when you when you do like overtime in 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 the uh, teams. In right. The t- yeah. In general, yeah. yeah. There's some yeah. good ones. There's some real good ones. Yeah. Real good ones. Because Stephon Diggs was in was in Minnesota. Matter of fact, that's interchangeable too. James Lofton was in Buffalo. Stephon Diggs was in remember Buffalo. Eric Mo- remember Eric? Eric, Eric Moe. Mo- uh, Andre Reed. Phyllis Price. Andre Reed. T.O. was in Buffalo. Who else? Yeah, that's right. T was there. And that season in Buffalo, he had yeah. a good year again. Good year yeah. again. I'm trying to think who else who else played Cardinals. Ocho, let me Ocho, check this out. Yeah. Agree. Man says you shouldn't own a Tesla Cybertruck if you live in an apartment. Do you agree or disagree? Um you said apartment. 
apartment or condo. Now they, you know, condo. You shouldn't matters, be renting if, if you drive a cyber truck. You should not be renting a condo or an apartment. Right, you right, you right by that because that's a hundred thousand dollar car. That's a hundred thousand dollar car. Now it's it's marked up high as hell oh, yeah, right they now. Hard, hard to get. Yeah, that, yeah. Hey, this ain't supposed to be number sixty thousand, yeah. but oh, I see the picture now. Oh yeah, yeah, he ain't supposed to have that. Matter of fact, you got to be careful here because that might be a dude just visiting the chick too. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. That could be a dude that's visiting a chick because I don't think nobody with no cyber truck <laughs> would be standing in no apartment. Man, anyway. we don't see people with Benzes and all kind of things in an apartment. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You remember the Hummer? That, you remember the Hummer was the big thing, Ocho? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, part right outside had, of the park. Yeah, I had, I had me, yeah, I had me a Hummer back you? in the day. Oh yeah, I never forget lavender. I had a beautiful, beautiful, pretty lavender, um, lavender with a little pearl to it. Hummer. Yeah. Matter of fact, you know who did it? Remember three one yeah. motoring in yeah. L.A. Yeah, three three. I never forget three one motoring did mine in L.A. I drove. I only had. A, I beautiful. only drove a Hummer one time. Jamal Lewis had a Hummer, and man, we was we yeah. was out. Yeah, yeah you know. man, we was out one night. It was. Mm. Me, Woody, Suge, J. Lou, Corey. Man, it was snowing and it was getting late. Mm -hmm. Right, man. I said, man, I'm gone. Man, I saw them keys. I left. <laughs> I drove his truck to work. He ain't come to right. practice. What? <laughs> so they call him. He like, man, somebody stole my truck. Right. I say, I got his truck. They say, why you ain't go by and pick him up? I say, hell, it, both of us can't be late. <laughs> if anybody gonna be late, it was gonna be him. I ain't finna be late. <laughs> hey, I'm here all time. Man, you done took the man truck, You're dead. man. Man, it was snowing. Man, hey, I had somebody, man, I had to get home, man. Y'all ain't finna get, help me. Right, right. Help me, oh no. I'm, Y'all ain't finna have my house upset. <laughs> He was already upset. I went out anyway. Oh no! Right, right, right. No sir, no yeah, can't get do. Get home, huh? Mm. -mm. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> Guys, we really appreciate that, man. We had like thirty thousand in the chat, did we? Yes, did? yes, yes. Guys, we yeah, want to thank, that's, thank that's you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging with us so late, Ocho. It's time for our last Yo. segment of the night. Last segment. Ocho. Yeah. You ain't gonna believe this, Ocho. But this what nightcap what what nightcap happened? after nightcap after dark. The top ten. Oh. Woo, I got excited. Hey. The top ten countries with the highest body count via world population review. Okay, okay. Top okay. ten countries. With the highest body count, you care to take a guess? Uh, we put it up there on the screen. Really. I want you to see if you can guess any of them. Shoot, I'm, I would think I Brazil, Brazil. Eh. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think to our countries too. Um, I don't think I would have before I saw it I think I only got one of them right I don't know why I'm thinking I, I can't even get past Brazil because I, when I think about Brazil everybody and they, and they be, and they be, just, they be, they be ooh, ooh, there's something, it's something in the water in Brazil I don't give I don't care what y'all say it's yeah. something in the water because ain't no way they got women right Man, I saw they had this basketball player. She like six yeah. four, and she put them heels on. Boy, she was stepping like an a like an a paladin pride. Wait, you saw it today on? I, uh, on yeah, Twitter? you saw her. Yeah, she had on the sweat. She had on the sweat. It started and walking. She put on the brown dress. Had on the brown. Yeah, I know you talk about. It. I know you talk about. It. Yeah, and yeah, I never yeah, see yeah, her yeah, on yeah, payday. Yeah, yeah. Whole YouTube money gone. All YouTube money gone. Ocho for the money. She got it all. I know exactly what. I know exactly what yes, you're talking about. Lord. Yeah, she was the whole YouTube check gone. Not that cat <laughs> check, but the other YouTube check. <laughs> she, get, 
<laughs> she can't get that cat buddy, but she can get that other buddy yeah. though for sure. Man, you shout out, man. Ocho, Switzerland what, what is number like? 10. Sweden is number nine. Italy, number okay. eight. Norway, number seven. Finland, right. number six. South Africa, number five. Iceland, okay. number four. New Zealand, Iceland, number three. Australia, number two. Turkey. So guess what? Them guys that be going over there talking about they going to get them hair transplant. They going over there to do get something else transplanted too. Ah, <laughs> you, see, yeah. was... you, you know, when I when I look at when I look at stuff like this, or I'm talking about resumes. When I look at um surveys, yeah. surveys, I wonder how do they go about finding out the information that these are the places with the highest body counts. That, that's that's I'm always curious how that works. But guess what, Ocho? Look at yeah Switzerland, Sweden, Norway, Finland. Iceland, what they have in common, right? It's cold, and we, so you ain't got nothing else to do. Uh, but the, little freely hunting, ain't nothing uh, wrong with little freely hunting. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Now you make you making sense. You making sense? You making hey, sense. Hey, you know you're it's making, a little cold outside. You want to snuggle? New, yeah, New Zealand gets cold as well. Iceland, Finland. Okay. You, you're right. You're right. You're right. Now, now yeah. it makes sense. I'm still, I'm still confused when I think of when I think of Brazil. Yeah. The only thing I can think of the the beautiful women and the guys and and you already know when you think about I think about carnival Brazilian soccer players and, and, and I think about carnival. I think about Brazilian soccer players and the amount of women that they deal with and how they party, how they have fun, how they you know what that you know they do the other thing too. But I I didn't know much about these other places. I I, I would have never like I said the only one I would have thought of is Italian. Right. Oh Italy. Yeah. Oh Italy. Mm -hmm. Of course. I I yeah. would have said French oh, because the, Paris because yeah Paris Paris not even on yeah here. because you know everybody like you know talk French you know what I'm saying they want to try, you know talk we, we, yeah yeah you know what I'm saying oh, yeah, we we <laughs> you know hold on what about Ecuador you boy you know your boy Ecuadorian you know what I'm saying oh, oh <laughs> what's up what's up you know what I'm saying, Ocho? You know your boy Ecuador, he the place to go party. Man, you shout out, man. That's a that's a good one. That's a man, good one. yeah, man. Everybody talk about, yeah, man. I saw her on I saw her on Twitter too. Good lord. Yeah, yes. I know exactly what video I, I saw her early. I saw her earlier today. She's a uh, it, she was yeah, she's Brazilian. She's a basketball, basketball player, player, right? Because you know, I be watching. Yeah. You know, I be watching that beach volleyball too. You watch the beach volleyball, right? No, I don't watch no beach volleyball. No. Nah. Add them all. All she gotta do, if she could, if she could, if she could, got, if she could put a pop tart in the toast, I'll marry them all. Nah, you just get you her just, green, just, get her green card and visa and everything. Papers already she filled out. Tall, she, she too tall for you. What huh? you mean? She I don't tall. care. Nah, it ain't, they ain't gonna look. It right, look right. It look, right. look right, man. Y'all see that thing? That bad thing Sharp got? It look right. It look right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let you. I can't. Yeah, let you, you let me. Like please let me go out there like that. Uh, six four. How you gonna have a woman that's taller than you? It just it ain't easy. Right. Watch me. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> that's how I'ma have it. Watch me. Uh, matter of fact, she gonna see this too. She gonna see this. Somebody gonna. Somebody somebody gonna send no, can't let the, I mean, normally, normally, Ocho, that's 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 a general rule. I mean, my mom. That's what my mom said. My mom said she never wanted a man. That she was taller than, cause the first time right. she get mad at him, she go hit him in his head, <laughs> <laughs> and she would have done it too. But nah, I don't think I've my height. I mean, I've dated I've dated women my height, and they probably was a little taller than me because if a woman is flat footed with no heels on, right, and then when she put on three four inch heels, yeah, she might have had me by yeah. a little bit. I, ain't, I, I I'm securing who I am. Okay, I'm still listen. Just because the woman taller than me, I'm still Shannon Sharp now. Right. I ain't, I ain't lost no value. You, I'm, right. I'm wishing you right. But I mean, you know, somebody six four with no heels and putting on heels and being like I six, don't care. Six, 
that means hey, that means when I, I carry you, I got my hands out here like this here. They not close like this. They like that. That's all I'm saying. Be make sure I get everything. A back and a legs and don't you? You know what I'm saying, don't you? You see, you know what I'm saying, don't you? Right? Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying, don't you? I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. And that's perfect. Oh, that's man. perfect. You know what I'm saying, Ocho? You ain't got to say, hey, you ain't yeah. got to be on your tippy toes. You know what I'm talking about. You, I ain't yeah. got to say no more, but you you know. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking mm-hmm. about. Def, definitely mm-hmm. do. Definitely do. Make sure. Don't forget now. You got to. That, that's what I already know. I, you know what I'm saying, Ocho? <laughs> I, I done popped that thing on the way to pick up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I done popped that on the way to pick up. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. Hell no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, that. Oh, that's hey, funny. man, I'm, I'm like that? If she's six four, yeah. she'll good. See, see, she probably two hundred, maybe ten, two ten. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, yeah. So you all in? Yeah. One. You see, first of all, I don't even call you a lady if you ain't one eighty. Yeah. Lady. Yeah. You right by that? Two twenty. Woo! I have a plenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, no. <Lord. laughs> Yeah, man. Bash you thing, man. Show that one hey, more man. time. Show that one more time, man. Show it one more time. One more time. I just want to see it one more time. Just one more time. Make sure my eyes ain't deceiving me. I forgot. Well, I forgot what her name was. It was. It was in the cap. Miss Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your head. Turn your head, Ocho. Don't be looking at my wife. Nah, I, ain't, I ain't looking. My baby. My baby already in here. My baby sleep. I'm not matter of fact, never mind, never mind. We beefing. I forgot yeah, we see? beefing. We beefing. Matter of fact, I'm I'm matter of fact, I'm taking the beef to the next level because I'm not even I'm not even I'm standing here tonight. I yeah. got my little I'm about to have like a that. decent proposal. You, hey, you remember that bit with Robert Redford and Demi Moore and uh, 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 Woody Harrelson? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what was it? A million dollars or five? A million dollars. It, million million five. it wasn't nothing yeah. indecent about that. You know, that's a, that. that's right a very that. decent proposal. Hey, that was, that was a good movie, boy. That was a good oh, they movie. Can't, oh, that's they can't so see bad. it on you. We're working on it. We, hey, we're going to get our technology. We're going to get our technology up to date. You're going to be able to see it. Right. Oh, yeah. That ain't no, that, that's, that's a very decent proposal. Indecent is forty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Whoo, Lord. That was nice looking. Mm-hmm. That was, she, she all right. What? What was that? Let me, let me see something. Let me go. Let me let me go. Be nosy. I know it was Ingrid something. Ingrid. Yeah. Say you didn't see the name. The name was in there. It I had Ingrid to hear up. I had to. Hear, I had to hear up and go by. I couldn't. I couldn't watch it too long. Hold on. Oh, I, f- I found it that fast. Yeah. Uh, Ingrid Vas- Vasconcelos, or mm-hmm. they go right there. Oh, she on IG? Yeah, it's right there. I'm showing it to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Where the whole guy, the whole family told. <laughs> hey, Ocho, she on the know. She won the lottery. Family, family life about to change. Hey, um, hey, she a little too tall. Yeah, you, oh, stop it! I'm looking at the don't try to talk. Hey, see, you try to talk me. You try to talk me out about. My... I'm not trying to talk you out. I'm, I'm looking. No, she's rich. She's That's really okay, tall. Ocho. Nah, nah, nah. You can't do that. Ocho. You can't do that. Ocho, I still work out. <laughs> I still work out, Ocho. <laughs> Ocho, Ocho. Quarter yeah. to three. <laughs> you right now, Joe. That's it. <laughs> hey, um, you, you, you might, you listen. You. Might oh, she married. They said she married. Oh, she Damn. Married. I'm sorry. 
My man, hey, no disrespect, bro. You got a winner. You got a winner. I'm sorry. Where else? They say she married. Oh, okay. I, oh, 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 I see him. I see him. I see him. I see him. Well, damn, it took. I had to scroll all the way to the bottom just to find the dude. Damn. Don't worry about it. It's other. It's other. And you know, you know, there. in Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Yeah, yeah, the Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, they, they, have, you know, they fade them. Yeah. Cause I know you know yeah. I ain't the port. Now you know what I'm saying, don't you? They, woo! Now you talk about body. Oh, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about and talking about, I'm talking about jet black wavy. I'm talking about I was sick looking at mm -hmm. here all them waves up in it. I'm talking about hair long. I'm talking Wait. about thick luscious locks. You you been to Brazil? Brazil came to me. No, nah, but I'm just saying look, y'all just did the whole thing. <laughs> oh, you gonna get me hey. in trouble, man. You gonna get me in trouble. You gonna get you gonna get you gonna get me in trouble. Hey. I, ain't, I, ain't I don't know. know. I, I don't know. know. That. I, that was a long time ago. I hear nothing. Oh, it was long yeah, time long ago. Time ago. Long, long time ago. Okay, okay. I'm I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Yeah. I ain't I ain't I ain't never been to Brazil. You ain't going now. We can't even go now. You about to get married. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't. See, Ocho, we we should have we should have linked up about five years ago. Listen, I told you right now we beefing. So if we want to go, we might this this would be the time to do we it. We do not care for Brazil. Yeah. Now we talking. Now we talking. I like I like the okay, way you thinking. Okay, okay. I'm gonna make I'm you know I'm gonna keep this fight going on that we got right now, so I can go ahead and go out there with no, <laughs> no no issues. Nah, see, 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 you like type, see, you like, see, you like to be angry, see, you like makeup sex, don't you? Who? Nah, 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 nah. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You right, you right, you right. But right now in this situation, I got to I got to hold you. I got to hold you. Gotta stand firm. I got I got I got to set. I, yeah, I got to set a yep. precedent. What you're not gonna do is you're not gonna get comfortable. You're not gonna get complacent. When you think it's okay for the 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 smallest of things, mm -hmm. you know. I let let's let's. I I I needed to. I have maintained the honeymoon phase almost four yeah. years, and I ain't trying to lose it no time soon. So I need that same energy. And 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 enthusiasm, yeah, to continue just a little bit longer. At least let let's at least let jump the room first for you for you for you. Yeah, you get a little comfortable on you on your boy. You Come right. on now, man. I don't know if this chick was. Uh, uh, excuse me. I don't know if this young lady was serious or not, but she went viral after listing the things that she expects from a man. Things I expect from my man. Ocho number one. Right. Pay all the bills. Number two. Whoa. Stop yeah. right there. <laughs> Unrealistic, but go ahead. Take care of my kids. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So they're not, not from him, no. not his. Okay, go ahead. Cook and clean. Mm -hmm. Let me cheat in peace. Buy me a house and a car in my name only. Mm. STFU and do what I say. Mm. Massage my body every day. Mm. Sex me only when I'm in the mood. Okay. Be faithful to me no matter what I do. Mm. And last but not least, marry me. I mean, all that was cute. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah, all, all, all that was cute. If you're playing a video game, if you're playing Sims, you yeah. can do that. If you're playing uh, GTA 4, you can do that. You can get all that you wish for, all that you want for in your head, yeah. mentally. In real life, no. Maybe no. you ain't going to get that. Ma'am. I mean, listen, I wouldn't I wouldn't. Even I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't I, wouldn't I, I, saw, I saw you. I saw you had to get a yeah. closer look. I, would, I wasn't even finna but go I'm, there. But I'm saying, first of all, even if you have that, if you think like that, why would you put that out there? Like I said, I mean, look, I, I think people now just want to go viral because I don't think, you know what I'm saying, take care of your kids. Hold on. First of all, I thought once we come together, they're our kids. So you've already you've right. already singled out like, OK, uh -huh. they're yours. It seems to me a lot. A lot of things. It's, it's her on her terms. Good luck with that. Well, the, the funny thing about it. Think about everything she asked for. Think about everything she mentioned. 
what you just say about value earlier. Yeah. You don't have to ask for it because it would already be happening. Let her cheat in peace. So let me get this straight. It would already you be want me to pay all your bills, take care of your kids, cook and clean, buy you a house and a car in your name only, and now you go, I'm doing all of that, Ocho. That's just a bunch of that's just a bunch of baloney. A bunch of baloney. Because the type of I mean, I listen, I ain't even finna get into it. First of all, the type of dude, the type the type of dude that's going to be in a position to do all that. Ain't anyway, going for that. Ain't even finna oh, be playing no, with you like that. No, 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 no. Do what? No, 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 no. No, yeah, because they because they that, first that, of all, like you that, say, they, that that's that's that one that's that one percent of talk. That can do all the things that she said. That one percent of talk. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, no guy that's working nine well, to five. No hard working man. Yeah, be, I mean, them, first of all, even me and when I was growing up, Ocho, guy used to work hard. He get his yeah. paycheck on Friday. He come home, turn it over to mama. Right. Mama paid all the bills. She went and got grocery yeah, shopping. Yeah. All the bills that needed to be paid, she paid them. Right. But you best believe that food was hot on the table when he sat down. Yeah. It wasn't no. It wasn't no reheating. Ain't nobody had a. Yeah. There wasn't no microwaving. The microwave mm -hmm. was at the Jetsons' house. I don't know if you remember the Jetsons growing up. You know, Elroy, Judy, Jane. I remember the Jet Elroy. Yeah. That, and Astro was the dog name. That's what the microwave mm -hmm. was. Food was hot. Right. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Man, men ain't there. It wasn't no five times, you know, thing. Three times. That meal was hot. My granddaddy sat down. Right. My uncle sat down at the table. All he did was wash his hands. He's sitting down at the table. And ready. My grandma ready. said that plate down in front of him. Or my aunts was sitting the plate down in front of my uncle. It wasn't nothing. Right. It wasn't no, well, I ain't cook nothing. What? <laughs> if y'all from the South, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. But they didn't play. Man, either you, man, look here, man. You couldn't play like that with nobody. Yeah. No. No. I mean, all, all, those, all those things, I think, is more for social yeah. media. It's cute. It's for engagement. But the real, the chance of it happening in real life, like, come on. That's, that's not no, even reality. No, nah, hell no. I mean, Ocho, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even expect, even if I did all that thing for a woman, I wouldn't expect mm -hmm. the, uh, for her to do le 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 number four. I wouldn't expect her to do number seven. Number nine? Man, please. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Man, y'all y'all be getting reckless happening. out here. Somebody said, not just the South. Oh, great key said, not just the South. Hell nah, man. Them, old, them, old, them men didn't play. I don't know when that transition, Ocho, to where, you know, guys didn't get hot food. I don't know. Maybe maybe in some places they still do that. I think, you know, mm. you know most, most, all my all my uncles, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you, Ocho, because I don't really know nobody that age. Uh, all my uncles, mm -hmm. like, hell, I only got one uncle living that's, uh, that's, uh, well, I got one on my dad's side. He's like in his 90s. Right. And uh, my other uncle, my mom's side, I think he's like 70, 18, 70. I think I think James probably like 74. 70, 74. So he'll be 74. So yeah, so I, I, I couldn't tell you, Ocho, but I just know when I was growing up. Right. I ain't know nothing about no re reheat what. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my granddad would have lost his mind if if he'd have came home and then somebody with Barney and you know Barney, I ain't made it yet, man. Please, right? Hey, that chicken was what uh, whatever they was gonna cook. Them girls better be in that kitchen because right they on. know when when Papa get off at six o'clock, he come walking ready. up. Okay, better be okay, ready. <laughs> okay. He ain't play. You th and you think I'm structured? Right. He was in the military. Oh, yeah, I, I can I can imagine. See, if you got it, it had to come man, from somewhere. Please. Man, <sighs> boy, it was rough. It was rough. Rough. Uh okay. So you want to save this one for the? Okay. All right, all right. We got oh Ocho. Ooh, Ocho. This one, the the nightcap after dark. Maybe, what, no, no, no. We're gonna say this one for tomorrow. We are we we yeah. Oh, yeah, tomorrow, we tomorrow, tomorrow. Ocho, this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It, it, don't even tell me. Don't even tell me. Don't even tell me. Guys, tell thank me. you for joining us for another. Yeah. I know we came on late, but uh 
What, what time? What time is it? What time is it? It's uh twelve twenty five. So what? That's three twenty five. Almost three. It's three twenty five in the East Coast. Yeah, Lee. Hey, oh, you know I wake up at five o'clock, mm-hmm. right? Oh, this is dope. I like this. Uh, please, guys, thank you for subscribing. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come on, guys, let's get a. Hey, we we we've been stagnant the last couple of days. Now we need to we need to grow. We need to keep growing. Please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap Podcast feed. You can listen to us through the Club Shay Shay feed, but we would greatly appreciate it if you signed up and listened to us to us through the uh, Nightcap Podcast feed. Thank you guys for selling out Shea by Laportier. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys again for all of your patience. It's greatly, greatly appreciated, and it doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, we'll have it back in stock soon. We're only taking pre-orders. Uh, we'll answer all the Super Chats tomorrow. Ash saved them for us, so we'll get to all the Super Chats tomorrow. Ryan Garcia upsets Devin Haney. He doesn't win the belt because he was three pounds overweight, but he can take solace in knowing I I beat Devin Haney and uh, mm-hmm. he broke Devin. He broke Devin Haney suffered a broken jaw in this fight, Ocha. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Well, it's tough because he started breathing out his mouth very, you know, he couldn't close it. So uh, congratulations to Ron Garcia and his team um, having him prepared to win. He won the fight. Uh, the Nuggets lose. The Nuggets beat the Lakers 114 to 103. Knicks beat the Sixers, 111-104. T-Wolves beat the Suns, 120-95. to And that's it for tonight. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I am your favorite uncle, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85. Route runner extraordinaire, Bengals ring of fame honoree, pro bowler, all pro. Chad Ocho Cinco. He said not to call him Mr. Rosado tonight. Yep, yeah, yeah. Johnson, yeah. Johnson, he's oh. only Johnson tonight. But, hey, for one night only, He's Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.